Thank you. 
absolutely thought I had more than 30 seconds when I pulled the phone up. I thought I had a minute 30 seconds. Oh well. I was just checking my sleep because I don't remember how much sleep I got last night. And I wanted to see if the thing, I, if uh, the like rest I took earlier this evening was uh, considered a nap or not. Uh, side note, it wasn't. So. Hello. How's everybody doing today? Seven a second here. Y'all are having a wonderful um, Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Oh. Just remember it. I needed to load the ROM first before I do anything else. Because otherwise the fucking sound options won't work right. Uh, well, today I pissed my roommate off. Uh, I used the toaster oven when he said he wanted to use the toaster oven. But I didn't remember him saying that or giving me an exact day of when he wanted to do the things he wanted to do with the toaster oven. He's like, oh, well, you used it. Well, now I'm pissed at you because you didn't clean it. Uh, and that was the last I spoke to him. I haven't spoken to him the rest of the day. So. Uh, and I probably won't speak to him tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe until we think we're playing tomorrow evening. So probably won't speak to him until then. Try to avoid him my standard way of dealing with people when uh, they're pissed is just give them space. I've apologized. I've washed the damn thing. I washed the tray that goes in the toaster oven. And then, uh, he said I haven't done anything else. So there you go. Um, yeah, it's been one of those days. Uh, I didn't really get a lot done because of that. Ooh, that's a burp. Uh... I know that my room is still incredibly hot. It got up to 80 degrees today again. I don't know how, like it didn't, I don't remember it doing this last summer. Or maybe it did and we just kept the AC on lower. I don't, I don't know. I need to clean my, I need to clean my, my computer out. Cause it's been a little bit since I dusted it. It's been about a month. So I probably need to take it out there and dust it, but that'll piss my roommate off even more. If I don't remember to actually uh, sweep afterwards, because the last time I forgot that. Uh, so that's basically been today of pissing roommates off. Other than that, it's been a very normal day. I have not had a lot of shit happen. Um, I was trying to think of anything else happened. Nothing really else happened today. I can't think of anything else that happened today. It was otherwise it was a fairly normal day. Um, I mean, we had, uh, I think I have all of the stuff. I think I've talked about this before. I'll, if not, I'll give it a catch up. My work is doing this competition where if you solve riddles, you get points. And then the points at the end of the competition, at the end of the, the contest period, basically you can spend them to get the company to buy you things. And I think I have all the points I'm going to get, unless there's like an extra round of points I don't know about. 
that's coming, which maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I don't know. I haven't checked. But um, pretty sure the competition ends this upcoming Monday, which is when I put the order in for. Whenever I was going to pick out, I don't remember what it was. There's some nice things in there. Like if you had done all of the riddles and gotten all of them right without any help, uh, I think you actually could have afforded an iPhone. I still have an ant problem in my room, and I just saw another one uh, way back behind my monitors, sitting on my monitor. So I had to reach back there and kill his ass. Um, but I think they've updated everything, so I need to go double check what what things I can buy. Cause I can't get the iPhone, cause that required, like I said, everything being bought. I can't get. I could get a couple of things, but like, they're like, ah, oh, we're going to buy you a gaming chair. Well, that's not needed anymore. Nor would I really want it just a gaming chair. One of those like ra DX racer style chairs. I, will. I don't, I don't like the fit of those chairs. Uh, let's see. What else is there? There's like a, there's like a monitor, which would have been nice two months ago when I needed to buy a new monitor, but now is probably not needed. Um, you could buy a 3D printer, but I don't. I think I'm like a couple of. I think I'm like a couple thousand points short for that one. I don't know if I would have bought a 3D printer anyways, because I don't know what the hell I would have used it for, or what I would have made with it. I guess is the, the proper way to describe that. Uh, that you could buy like an or like a standing desk, but it's not one of those. It's not one of like the full desk ones. It's one of those like monitor arm ones that you sort of pick up and raise down, which would require a lot of extra work to readjust it because all my monitors are on monitor arms. So that's kind of out the window. Um, there's like a lot of stuff in there and I, I don't remember what I was going to get, but something uh i'm gonna wait till the end and see if i have enough to buy a few other things because i think they're supposed to be bonus points i i can't they might have already added them in but i would maybe they who knows they might even do like a special you get uh like one last challenge for a bunch of extra points or something like that i would i mean they could who knows if they would or not um I'm still waiting to hear back if they get it like I know I got the so there was one special riddle they did that was they called the CEO's challenge and that was one that if you did it and you get it right or if you solve the riddle by putting the right answer in um you get like some amount of points but then you also get entered into a raffle for a PS5. And I'm hoping for that, because if you're going to give me a PS5 for free, I'll take a PS5. But otherwise, eh, eh, don't have a reason to get a PS5 yet. There are there are games that would take advantage of being on a PS5, but there's not like there's not a lot of exclusive PS5 games yet that I'm like, yeah, I need to play this on a PS5. So we're waiting on that. Um I think that's literally everything that's happened. I mean, it's only been like, it's been like less than 24 hours since you guys last saw me. There hasn't been a lot of shit that happened. I'm trying to 
think. Um, oh. I guess my friend is still playing that, that, that Hell Sanity Zooter Seed. Which made me want to play a Hell Sanity Zooter Seed. So, if I get, uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I, we, pro we probably couldn't finish it on Monday, even if I tried. Because I think I have Monday off. Uh, if I got Monday off, I, I in theory, I'll be, uh, I'll be streaming the afternoon, but, um, bleh. oh no, what happened? Uh, <laughs> I, you're probably still trying to do Kaizo Iron Mon runs. He said he had a good run an hour ago and five minutes ago. He's like, well, that died. My brain keeps trying to tell me there was something else you were going to talk about, and I can't bring it out of my brain. You know what we should do? We should just get to the damn game. All right. Did the audio switch? There we go. Okay, so I just have to start it, refigure the re rejigger the audio, and then actually just reset the the emulator. All right. So last time, uh, we were in the courthouse to try uh, Mr. Knightley, uh, and apparently. Uh, they found him dead in the prison, which he shouldn't have been in the prison. Among many other problems with this scenario. I gotta figure out how the hell that happened. Mm. Where's Knight? Oh, Horace Knightley murdered right before his trial. Let's take a closer look. Mr. Edgeworth has something similar in his office. It's a portable chessboard. It was probably the victim's. Ah! Mr. Knightley really enjoyed chess, right? He was probably using it to pass the time in the detention center. Who the fuck was he playing against? Um, can I just immediately take a look at that? Open it from there. Hurry up and open it. Why are you getting so excited? What are you saying? Doesn't everyone get excited when they open it when they're opening a box? I think that probably applies to you only. King Queen. Eight pawns. Do everything else. I don't see anything crazy. These are chess pieces, right? So something similar in your office, Mr. Edgeworth? Huh? But the pieces here are black and white. Those are the correct colors. My pieces were custom made. Custom made? It sounds like a treasure to me. Oh no, her eyes are sparkling. Does she intend to steal it? Um. Okay. So nothing crazy out of the ordinary with it. Not that I thought there was going to be. What's this? Swap. Shroppity swap shrop. This is a rubber glove. Yes, there's no mistake. It's a rubber glove. How come there's only one? Let me take 
Let me take a closer look. What is this? Ink? Covered in mud up to the wrist. Maybe someone was playing with the mud in the prison. I want to get on the action too. Do it, do it on your own time. We're here. We're not. We're here. Not in, when we're not investigating the case. Oh, oh, that's also bad. Fingers of the gloves are covered in blood. This glove was dropped after the pool of blood formed. Eh, why is that? It was on the floor before the pool of blood had formed. The blood would have formed on an outline around the glove. Ah, I see. The blood would have only gotten on the on the edges of the glove. This glove was discarded after it was covered in blood. Well, that must mean the killer left it behind. Indeed, it's highly probable. At the very least, the person who dropped this saw the body. You there. What is it, sir? Do you recognize this glove? Yeah, yes, sir. The inmates use these for prison labor. That That's odd. Rubber gloves are usually kept in the inmates rooms. They're strictly regulated, so you can't just take them out. Indeed, there are no signs of any other rubber gloves in the room. Oh, okay. So the text at the bottom is like the name of the... The name of the... 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 The jail. Stained the brace a bright red. Positive was most likely from his neck wound. He probably died instantly. Oh, that's the one. He couldn't even cry out in pain. Huh? There's small bumps on his head. Are these bruises? Maybe after he was stabbed in the neck, he fell backwards and hit his head. I wonder. At this point in time, there's too many unknowns. Okay, you have your digital camera with you. I'd like the detective to take a photo of the body. Would you let him borrow it? Sure thing! Here, Gummy! Well, thanks, pal. All right, I'm taking the picture, sir. Still, he's wearing some awfully dirty clothes. Hmm. Seems appear to be... There appear to be dirt stains in several places. He's wearing those clothes even though they're dirty? He's just like me, sir. Detective. I hope you realize that not everyone shares your lack of hygiene. What is this thing? He's covered with a dirty sheet. There's a rope on the top of the sheet. Was Knightley tied up with this rope? Ooh, that's an interesting idea. Take a look under the sheet. We might be able to find something. Oh, yikes. The sheet is bright red. This appear to be blood stains. We still might be able to find something. Let's search this area a little more closely. Uh. Hmm. There is something on his finger. Let's have a closer look. It looks like an expensive ring. Don't steal it. I didn't do anything yet. I don't know if there's any, I mean, maybe the blood stain. It's bright red. It really is bright red, sir. These appear to be blood stains. A rope and a bloody... A rope and a bloody sheet. There might be something else. Yes, let me check the area again in case I overlooked something. Ooh. What are you asking me to look at here? Wait, 
Uh, we've already seen all We've already seen all this. Of course. Um. Can I not exam? Okay, let me make sure there's not any logic bombs I can hit. Yeah, I didn't think so. Not. Well, that might be the end of it. Wait, his sleeve was unbuttoned? Was it? I thought I examined that. He like rolled up his sleeve. Yeah, it's 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 not it's not giving me anything new here. I don't think I have. I don't think there's anything else new there. There are a bunch of strange tools here. I don't see anything out of the place. I'm kind of picking up the scent of animals. Do you have a special smelling ability or something? No, it's just a feeling. But I can smell the scent of treasure. I'm ready to lock up all the valuables in my safe again. Oh, it did. Oh, excellent. Mr. Andrew, I wouldn't steal your valuables. So you so you steal someone else's valuables? There's a wasp patient over here. Are there any clues that could be useful to this case? I don't smell any signs of treasure. Searching for clues here, not treasure. Oh, that took me. Okay. That took me back there. I thought I was like, for some reason I saw the chessboard and didn't immediately recognize it. We won't rest until we've stolen every suspicious looking crook, nook and cranny. Indeed. This is quite a large area to investigate. Ah, uh, sw screen switching. Jessica been here? That is not the thing I thought I was investigating. These are some colorful sheets. This is the most eye-catching thing in the room. They don't fit very well in the prison. There's also a whip placed on top of the sheets. It reminds me of Whip Lady. Maybe she left her whip here? Hmm. Not should ever leave her whip behind ever. rope near the body as well by the way my special talent that rope escapes there's no need for that now oh does she want to show it off that badly it's a pulley huh? is that used for prison labor too looks like it Ask you. You've been thinking about dangling on the hook. What the, how did you know that's what I wanted to do? Somehow, I had a feeling. It's a cage inside the cage. It's like this is the prison. It's like Cageception. Maybe the correct term is prison cell. Well, it's the same thing. You seem to look more at the essence of things. Actually, it's more important to get the correct information. Something else down here? Is that the sheets? I don't see anything else here. I, mean, I guess we can check.
Okay, good, we got everything. Good, 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 good. This section of the room is covered in dirt. The dirt is soft and has footprints on it, sir. There's too many footprints. It would be easy to identify them all. The forensics arrived. We probably shouldn't tamper with this area. Detective, please don't trip and fall in the dirt. Oh, be careful, sir. I don't want to get my favorite coat dirty. I'm more worried that you'll mess up the footprints. Is that everything? It can't be everything. I keep trying to look at the bottles that are on the table, but... Is there anything out of place? Yes, sir. If I had to say. What is it? There's a dead body over there. Yep, that's definitely out of place. If you notice anything else out of place, please be sure to tell me. Maybe Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir. He was arrested on the afternoon of the 25th and was killed on the morning of the 27th. I never expected the criminal to become a victim, sir. Yes, well, it doesn't leave a good taste in your mouth. Maybe the killer killed Knightley? He couldn't let anyone who had seen his true identity live. Or something like that. Are you talking about Shelly the killer? If he was the killer, then he would have left the calling card behind. Besides, we also didn't see his true identity as well. Didn't we also see his true identity as well? That's right. And we're still alive, sir. Still, to commit such a murder in a place like this is not an easy task. How did the criminal murder nightly? Oh, I... That's been a thing I've been doing a bunch, is, for whatever reason, I... Keep wanting to hit Z for accept and X for cancel, but it uh, is the other way around. Oh man, it's nice that the prison and the detention center are connected, sir. As they both get to share the visitors' room, it's actually kind of convenient. Well, it's an unusual design, but it's convenient for the visitors. Why do the detention centers and the prisons need to be separated in the first place, sir? The suspects go into the detention center, while the convicts go into the prison. They might seem similar, but they're actually two completely different facilities. Those cramped, dark, and uncomfortable cells all seem the same to me, sir. If you're still having trouble understanding the difference, why don't you step inside one? I think I'll pass, sir. I guess the only thing I have is the logic. Damn it. Damn it, Bobby. The only other thing I have. The sheet stacked here have a very distinctive pattern. It's the same as the bloodstain sheet. Well, that's right. Okay. Don't steal my lines like that, please. That's all I have. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you shouldn't get caught off guard like that. I'll never lose my edge as the great thief. I thought she was on hiatus. Well, we collected quite a bit of evidence. With the three of us here, it's a piece of cake, right, Gummy? It's right, pal. We're the Invincible Trio. It's too early to start celebrating. There's still something we haven't found yet. Huh? Wait a minute. What, what haven't we found, sir? It's missing from this crime scene. The murder weapon that took the victim's life has not been found yet. Uh, well, now that you mention it, sir, you're absolutely right. Detective, get your act together. Isn't that the most basic of basics? Uh. Sorry, sir. Don't worry about it, Gummy. I didn't notice it either. It's not much of a consolation. 
In this prison, dangerous objects can be used as weapons are strictly regulated. It would be quite dangerous if the inmates got their hands on them. Obtaining a murder weapon and carrying it around is not an easy task. Oh, I see you have a point. What was the murder weapon? Where did it go? It could be the key to solving this case. Who is this? There are visitors here already. Who the fuck is this? Sorry to barge in like this. Is this the crime scene? Door. Huh? You, aren't you? That piercing gaze, those for a brow. It's been a long time, Mr. Shields. Yes, yes, that frilly thing around your neck and that stiff greeting, there's no doubt about it. Prosecutor Manfred von Karma. Fancy meeting you here. Uh. What are you saying, pal? Mr. Edgeworth's not that old man. Detective. It's fine. Oh! Oh! It's you, it's you Prosecutor Edgeworth. I thought, I thought you looked a bit young. You two are so similar. Looks like your Uncle Ray got you two mixed up again. They're pretty luxurious for what they are, yeah. A lot of freedoms in these jail, in, the, in these prison sh Never change. How many years has it been since we last saw each other? Mmm. But I've forgotten. Your Uncle Ray has been overseas these past few years. But you know, some of still haven't forgotten about you and about your betrayal. But it, I'm getting some bad vibes over here. Do, do you know this guy, Mr. Edgeworth? Let me introduce him to you. Raymond Shields, attorney at law. Oh, he's an attorney. Oh. Okay. Thought it was some other fucking detective or something. Ace attorney Ray Shields at your service. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm detective Dick Gumshoe, sir. Hey Faraday, nice to meet you. I'm a great thief. Oh, but I'm, I'm currently on hiatus. Great thief, well, well, that sounds romantic. How wonderful. Oh, Mr. Shields, you get it right. I'm currently recruiting new members. The registration forms are easy to fill out. That That's splendid. Uncle Ray would love to join your little gang. I'm sorry, but we're only accepting bright, cheerful, and energetic girls. Uh, oh, well, that's too bad. How about a hug then, so, as a sign of affection? No! Well, I guess not. Well, this isn't Europe after all. Mr. Shields, what are you doing here? Oh, that's right. Sorry, sorry. I forgot, got, I got distracted. Preventing the attorney from investigating the crime scene is, a, is the Von Karma way, isn't it? The attorney? Does that mean we already have a suspect? Hey, wait, wait. You've been going on and on about Von Karma this and Von Karma that. What's your problem, pal? Detective, restrain yourself. This cannot be helped. Duh. Mr. Shields, are you the defense attorney for Horace Knightley? That's right. Or should I say I was his defense attorney? Mr. Shields is the defense attorney. If Knightley had not been murdered... I'd have been going up against him in court. Hmm. I should listen to what he has to say. Hmm. 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 You know we got to do it to him. Huh? Are you are you giving this to me? I'm thrilled. A prosecutor's badge might make me more popular than my attorney's badge. That, that, that animation. Thanks for the present. D no, I never said a word about giving it to you. Mm -hmm. That was just a joke. Uncle Ray has his own badge.
I know I have one of those pins, but I think I was just given the Phoenix treatment, but in reverse. Feels like it. Your attorney's badge. You don't wear it on your clothes. Hmm. In the winter, I wear it on my favorite coat. Uncle, your Uncle Ray only wears it on his victory clothes. What kind of victory is he talking about? Oh, whoops. That was not the button I wanted to hit. Stop. Did you receive the request to represent the victim? That must mean. Yes, your Uncle Ray was supposed to meet with Nightly Boy. As was I. I planned to meet with him, but then we heard the report of the dead body. I even brought him a California roll. What's in a California roll again? It's avocado cucumber. And crab. Honestly, I'd probably be okay with the cal. Like, I think for the longest, I like the only thing I don't really like is the cucumber flavor, but it's not like a disgusting flavor. It's just kind of like a, uh, it's a flavor I deal with. Just drench it in fucking soy sauce and I'd be fine. Um, I've been much better recently when we've been ordering sushi about like ordering sushi with avocado. For the longest time, I was kind of like iffy about avocado I was kind of like I don't really think I like doing this kind of thing but um and you can actually thank my I can actually thank my roommate for this one he started using avocado oil for, for cooking like if he needed to fry something he'd use avocado oil and we got into a discussion about it it's like yeah it's neutral oil it doesn't taste like anything and so I think I made something with avocado oil and that worked out really well. And so after that, I was like, well, I think I got, I think one of the rolls we got when we ordered sushi one time just had avocado and I was like, oh, it's probably fine. I like everything else in here. If the avocado is the only thing I don't like in this well, I learned and we go from there. And I think I've just been fine with it. Avocado, I don't know. I think I've always associated avocado with guacamole and and I know that they are, they are, it's an ingredient in it, but for whatever reason, I just looked at it and went, well, that shit looks disgusting. I don't remember, I don't remember actually the first time I tried guacamole. I just, I don't remember, I remember not liking it, whatever it was. Maybe I'd be fine with it now. Maybe I'd be fine with, um, avocado. What, what's going on? Who was that? You mean the raisin? Even the raid. We were just talking about sushi, cause he started it. That's, that's all him. Thank you. Come on in, folks. Have a seat. We're talking to a defense attorney about a dead body. And we are uh, trying to figure out what's going on. And I just—he brought up the California roll, and I went, wait. For whatever reason, I have I I. I legit don't think I've ever had just a regular California roll, sushi roll. I've always gone for like spicy salmon or spicy tuna or something like that. So those are like, if you're going for like a basic roll, that's the kind of roll I want. And that just started an entire like side discussion. How are you doing? How was this? How was your stream? What were you playing? Hopefully you were playing something cool. Are you done? Oh my God. Okay. You're still going. living or uh well you can't see it because i don't have the thing up high enough but i got this guy a mobile running doing an item world and because i've basically gotten all of the it's on autopilot at this point and it's just gonna let it farm for a while hey good that's what you want to hear good stream so far a little bit of a slower start just because I, I my brain was trying to think of i swear i had something i wanted to talk about 
like right at the start of the stream and then it's like I had a doorway effect my, it just wiped from my mind but otherwise it's been good um I tried to find my attorney's badge but I couldn't find it I probably have it put away like I have a little box of like pin, small pins and shit on my on my shelf that I would get out and just find the attorney's badge pin but we're not playing an attorney we're playing we're playing we're playing a prosecutor so can't wear that but I do have one in there uh, oh I'm out of it there we go Mr. Shields you can't bring food into the detention center Ah, is that right? Well, would you like it then? It's fresh. It just got made. No, thanks. Mm. Still, to think that Prosecutor Edgeworth actually met, meets with the defendants. All defendants are guilty. Wasn't that the Von Karma way? That is a thing of the past. Yeah, is that right? So... Sure you don't want it. It's good. I like this place. You know, you know, I, you, you trust me with my food, right? I, I told you. I don't, I don't want it. Detective Gumshoe, would you like some free food? You know, you, you, wait, did you have to ask that question? You know I'll take free food. Doesn't matter what it is. Hey, Daedalos. How you doing, dude? Welcome in. We're dealing with a dead body. How you been? How are things going? How's that character rebuild going? Have you got everything figured out for what your what your what your new character in uh, in Tyrant's Graphs is, is gonna be? <laughs> See, I'm the only idiot that took the I, I'm the idiot that took the easy way out. I didn't take I didn't take the creative way out. I just said, you know what? You're giving me the option to keep my character. Sure, why not? Sure. For anybody who hasn't heard, uh, Daedalus and I play in a Pathfinder game, uh, in, uh, a strange, uh, not a strange, a, different one, a Tyrant's Grasp campaign that we're going through right now. Uh, and we just had a, we just had a TPK, full party wipe. Cause uh, this asshole zombie plant thing came up and whapped us real hard. Um, I had the points to survive and decided to not re-roll my character, but everybody else in the party either didn't have enough points to survive, so they had to re-roll, or they took their two points, but decided to go ahead and re-roll anyways, for any number of reasons. So, uh, I mean, you've got time. You don't have, uh, you don't have, um... You have until Saturday to, to get it together. Ooh, excuse me. All right. Anyways. I want your character to be saved and then just go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just... It, it, I should clarify, his character's not going to die. But he's just... He, were you, he's, were you, the opportunity has arisen for him to roll a character that... Uh, will fit better and he will... And, and you will enjoy more. Did you meet with Knightley yet? Hey, <laughs> we met yesterday. Mm. They called me over as soon as Knightley boy was arrested. He was being quite hostile. Oh yeah. Oh, he mentioned you. He talked about how you interfered with his plans. He probably said some nasty things about me. Even, even if he hates me, I'm fine with that. Man, the two of us had a great time talking about you. We Mr. Shields, you also talked about me? I frequently visit the I frequent the visitors room here quite often. It's been a while since I had such a good time. Well, so you're regular at this prison, huh? Hey now, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not here as an inmate. I'm here to visit an old acquaintance of mine. We usually meet in the visitors room, but I've also been in here before. Wait. Somebody's in the prison? You should, I, should, he should, I should ask you about this room. This room was where the body was found. Do you know anything about it? Ah, this room, huh? Here's a pop quiz for our prodigy prosecutor. 
Which of these three is the name of this room? I'm gonna say the entertainment room? Is it? I don't think it's the morgue. That would be really surprising if it was. The only other place I could think of would be the lecture room, but I don't think that's it. Okay, you know what? Fuck it, we're going with this. The entertainment room. Wow, Prosecutor Edgeworth sees this place as an entertainment room. And why not? There are plenty of toys in here. Well, let's reveal the correct answer. And Prosecutor Edgeworth's answer is... Wrong. Correct answer is the workroom. You fuck. You didn't even give me the right answer. All three choices are wrong. I hate it when he does that. Actually, you know what I should have hit? I should have hit a different button. That was just like the one I had on hand. It's on the first one, right? It's on... I should have hit this button when I got it wrong. It would have made much. It would have been much better than just the beat button. It's not a buzz. It's not a buzzer. It's a, it's a beep. Uh, the inmates carry out various kind of prison labor in here. That is not the right. This is what I get for clicking out of the window and forgetting to click back in. It also serves as a rehab program, allowing them to receive job training in prison. So. Wait, how do they monitor this room then? Who's in charge of the keys to the entrance? Prosecutor Edgeworth, even your Uncle Ray doesn't have all the answers. Don't, 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 don't question me. We're not in court yet. You can't do that yet. Hey, you there. Could you tell us? Yes, sir. Junior, yes, sir. <laughs> too many weird, too many like odd voice things. This room doesn't use any locks or keys. Instead of locks, the doors are equipped with sensors. What do you mean by that? All the prison inmates are wearing electronic bracelets. When a bracelet passes through the door, it activates and that's the sensor. And an alarm will sound. After a certain amount of time has passed, the bracelet will emit a painful shock. If the bracelets are tampered with, it emits an electric shock three times more powerful. Ah, that's terrifying ensure that all the inmates follow the rules though it seems a bit harsh that's the inmate that's what they ever what that's why whenever inmates go through a door a guard has to accompany them to deactivate the sensor first hmm. okay and that's it did any of the inmates use this workroom today in the past few days no one's used the room i'm sure of it i don't leave this room that often so not one inmate has entered the room today. Interesting. If that's the case, how the hell did he get in here? Or is this a contradiction with the crime scene? Something in this crime scene that should not exist. Literally this body. I will use my powers of deduction and inspect the crime scene again. What the fuck? No, 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 no. I keep doing that. because the yeah it should be his wrist then right wait that isn't that, that's not it
Something in this room that should not exist. Is there something like am I missing something here? I mean, I mean clearly am but like Prove your game. in the room I need to look at? It's a reservation form that lists the inmates who are scheduled to use... Ooh, whoops, that's still on. Scheduled to use this room. There are numbers written on here. Probably the prison numbers. I hate to be called a number like T4137. Yes, that's why we're born with a name. I'm going to be called Great Thief or the Terminator. What about your name? I don't like my name. I just want to be called the Terminator. So there's something to inspect? We didn't find anything else. I mean, again, the fact that his body is here is already a problem. Oh, whoops. I need to swap. I already saw that. What is... What is happening here? Is it literally as dumb as... I'm looking at this and thinking that, that I don't... I don't... I don't know what the, what the contradiction is supposed to be because I feel like... Like, him existing shouldn't be here. You think it's the work glove? I think it's the work glove? Do I present the work glove or do I present...
Yeah, they're definitely controlled items, but I'm just like... I'm so confused. Because I don't know what to present in order to sort of advance this year. I'm actually stumping. I'm actually like legit, like not sure what's going on. Is it like you present That's not how I would have presented that, but all right, let's roll with it. The inmates cannot freely enter this room as they're wearing bracelets that set off the sensors. According to the guard, it seems that no inmates were scheduled to enter this room today. However, oh, duh. Okay. I, okay. Let's talk about how I got, how I got mixed here. Let's talk about how I got mixed here. The glove is in the room. My brain was saying that Knightley brought it in for some reason. But those gloves are not in detention center inmate cells. They are in prisoner inmate cells. He shouldn't have had access to any gloves. Yes, exactly. See, see, you, you, we're, we're, we're coming to the realization here. He's not an inmate yet. He shouldn't have had access to any of those gloves. So therefore that glove shouldn't have existed on the scene yet. But that means that somebody who is an inmate or who has access to the inmates was in this area. Ah, yeah, yeah, ha, ha, ha. The rubber glove, a rubber glove used by the inmates was left in here. That is a direct contradiction. When, who left the rubber glove in here, sir? I don't know. Not yet. However, it seems that this rubber glove is connected to our case. Hey, get all that health back. Yes. Guard, aside from the inmates and the prison guards, does anyone else have access to this room? Um, well, it's a prison facility after all. Only the inmates and prison guards are come here. Mr. Shields? <laughs> what are you saying? There's others that come in here. Besides from the inmate and the prison guards, there are certain things that can enter this room. <gasps> are you, you talking about them? But they're... Mr. Shields, what are these things you speak of? It should be obvious you came all the way here without seeing one, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Usually you can find them walking around the prison facility. Well, let's see once you leave the room, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Hey, you're just saying that to get Mr. Edgeworth to leave, pal. What now? You don't trust me? Mr. Detective, you have a big body, but a small mind. Here, you should have some sushi. It's good for your brain. What did you say, pal? Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what Uncle Ray's been talking about. I feel like I have to use air quotes with this guy. I can't, I can't like not make the air quotes with it, with him. March 27th, 11.06 AM, prison hallway. This play... This place is a little different than a normal prison. There are more than just the prisoners and guards living here. What the fuck? How did we see none of these coming in? How did we spot none of them? Animals? Yep, animals. According to the guard, they introduced animal therapy here several years ago. Each prisoner is inside one animal. In other words, they receive a pet partner. Huh? That's... That seems kind of fun. Plus, learning to take care of their pet is a great qualification to have. Ah! See me in that workroom! Oh! Okay, that explains like half of the shit in this room that I did not understand. 
I was looking at this going, what in the world do they do in this place? Because there is shit in here that looks literally like punishment. This is the punishment room. That's where the prisoners practice taking care of their pets. So then the thing you mentioned that could enter the crime scene is... Right, these animals. That doesn't make any sense, pal. Why would an animal leave behind a rubber glove? Mm hmm, quite right. And remember the fact that they could have entered the crime scene. Mr. Edgewood, could you please talk some sense into this man? He's not, he's not making any sense. Mr. Shields, are the animals allowed to go wherever they please? Most of the doors in the prison are fitted with sensors. The sensors not only sound an alarm in response to the prisoner's bracelets, they also respond to the animal's microchips and open the doors for them. Microchip? It's like a tiny machine embedded under the animal's skin. All it takes is a simple injection, and the microchip is inserted. What? what? It sounds so painful. I've heard it's not that painful. But anyway, since the animals aren't criminals, they're allowed to move freely. How ironic. The ones with the most freedom in this prison are the animals. Well, that explains the thing in the intro that didn't make any fucking sense. Okay, so the deduce we had to do to step was that on the... I can actually show you. Uh, uh, flip it. So the deduce we had to do was... Uh, Make sure I mask. You can see the mask. So we had to focus on the glove and then present the doorway. Because the thing that tripped me up and the thing I forgot about, or that, that I misremembered, gloves are not given to detention center inmates. They are only given to prison inmates. So Knightley would not have had a glove in his in his would not have been able to access a glove under normal circumstances or under any circumstances in this case, as far as we know. So that means that someone, or in our case is something, that had access to one of these gloves in the form of one of the prison cells, left it here. So, and because everything is strictly managed, that somebody wouldn't have just left a glove here. So, That is where we had to, that's where we had to do that. You had to deduce that with what? Oh, 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 I didn't show that. Uh, stop hitting the wrong button. I had to deduce it with the door sensor, which before we were told about the animals thing, told us that uh, all prisoners can only get in when in the presence of a guard, with a guard with them because they have a bracelet on them that if they try to go through the door, will shock them. Kind of like a dog collar, but on your wrist. And if they try to tamper with it, it shocks them three times as hard or something like that. But that's the thing that sort of that, this is the piece of information that told us we are, that the access to this room is strictly controlled. So somebody wouldn't have just left a glove in here or been able to leave a glove in here, so. But they still can't go out of the prison. The prison's entrance does not have a sensor. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hmm? What's that? Is that a bell? Wait, what is that? A seen eye dog? What is this? Dog, it has a bell on its collar. Is that the sound we heard earlier? I like how they're making the same face. I like how I like how Edgeworth is trying to stare down the dog and the dog's just like staring back at him like what? What the fuck? Mr. Edgeworth, what are you glaring at each other for? You must not lose. Mr. Edgeworth, you're not good with dogs, are you, sir? I'll tame that dog myself. Come here, boy. Here, boy. Is it? 
Go that way, boy. See, he listens to me. Oh, he completely ignored me, sir. I can't, I can't, I can't deny that. Where are the other animals? There's something different about this one. This isn't a great hostility towards me only. Well, now that I've introduced you to the animals, what's on the next, what's next on the agenda? Well, of course, we question those related to the case, pal. Yes, we should gather info about the state of things when the body was discovered. We'll start with you in the cell. Tell us what you know. Drop the voice down for this one, because sure that if that's how we're doing it, that's how we're doing it. Hey, it's just completely ignoring me, sir. You there? Do you know anything about these incidents? He's scary. <laughs> Don't be so cold. Don't be so cold. Come on, you can talk to us. Or how about an introductory hug? It's time. The hell was that? Uh, sorry, Uncle. Was was Uncle Ray's joke a bit too much? Exercise time. This man's clearly odd, bro. You are strength training with a bear on you. I need to get some more information. Answer from your name is me. I'm a uh, prisoner D two five nine J L bird. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that one hit hard as soon as I said it. I was like, I don't. Maybe I don't get his pun. And then as soon as I said his name, I was like, fuck. Gotta raise my metabolism. Can't let my muscles rest. Or can't let my, can't let my muscles rest. Muscles aside, it looks like you've lost a lot of weight. Have, have the match is won even before it's begun. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta make a weight limit. Uh, are you entering some kind of tournament? Well, maybe he's a boxer. He's got that boxer stance on him. Yeah, I'm a former boxer, but exercise is just a hobby of mine. Well then, it looks like this, the, it's this bear's hobby too. He's hanging on like, like an apron. It's so cute. Well, this is Rocky the polar bear. He's my partner. He's loosened his tongue. Maybe we can try asking him now. Were you and Rocky at the time of the incident? I don't know. I don't know anything. I got nothing to say to you. Well, that's for me to decide. Now answer the question. Didn't I just tell you I, got, I know nothing? There's no intention of talking, huh? In that case, you've got no choice but to use that. Yes, if he insists he'll have nothing, if he insists he has nothing to do with this, we'll just have to prove there's a connection. Mr. Elbert, by all means, you will tell us what you know. Ooh, logic chess. Okay. 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 Before we start the logic chess sequence, um, I need to go use a bathroom. So give me a few minutes to use a bathroom. We'll come back and uh, we will logic chess with a an inmate with a with a bear on his chest. All right. All right. Be right back.
Hello, people. I am back. Thank you for sticking with me through that break. Uh, I realized that um, the I guess the autoplay that I had on Disgaea Mobile going where I'm just going through an item world it's not going to work right now. The item that I, the item level of the item I was leveling up has gotten to the point where enemies are actually starting to take out my team. Like they're scary enough that I need to probably micromanage what's going on. And I can't just do that while I'm streaming. This is too much. It takes too long. Not enough downtime in between events to get away with that. So I pause the I pause the item world run and then I will pick it back up after the stream. And in the meantime, the phone's just gonna sit back there and charge. So we're good there. Um You ready to get back into it and play some play some mind chess? Because I'm ready to play some mind chess. Let's analyze the situation. Mining stance. Seems it's become agitated. In these circumstances, direct confrontation would be pointless. When my opponent becomes agitated, she calmly wait and see. When I see an opening, I will not hold back. Now, let's question him about his knowledge of the incident. To start with, I'll ask him about his movements today. Let's tire him out before he sat before the sound of the bell. Begin! What did you do today? Can you tell me what you've done today? Answer me. Huh? You want to fight her with me? You're going to need to get into a fighting stance. What? Are you throwing the towel in already? This is not a fist fight. Welcome to the war that is chess. By the way, hasn't all of that moving around tired you out at all? God, don't, don't underestimate my stamina. I don't remember what the fuck I was doing with his voice before. Fuck, we're going to rework it. You want to test me with do with that body of yours? I ain't tired at all. Well, first off, I held back in my training today. Stay quietly in my cell. Quietly? And what's with all that sweat? And buzz off. That's all I've got to say. I'm getting a little tired. You are a well-trained boxer. However, you need more practice in the art of lying. Getting a little tired? That's not possible. You said you stayed quietly in your cell just a moment ago. Rocky, looks like this is gonna be a tough opponent. Oh, he's rock leaning me. This man, he looks like he's still hiding something. I still ask him about the time of the incident. I don't need to use fist. My words are alone. My words alone are enough for a KO. When the incident occurred, did you notice anything unusual about the prison? Huh? Answer the question. What was the situation like at the time of the incident? Oh, not enough. Sorry, but I got no answer. I thought he was tired. I was asleep. I was asleep then. Rocky was too. There are clues to proceed with this line of question. We should try another line of attack. Do you recall what you were doing at the time of the incident? Sleeping. Rocky was too. The incident happened just a few moments ago. You look wide awake to me. Muscles strengthen when they're resting. Sleep is important. Well then, I'm sorry to have woken you. Rest is a part of the training, right? Oh! So, you get it after all. Not bad, Mr. Prosecutor. How do you know I'm a prosecutor? 
I don't recall ever t introducing myself as a prosecutor. How do you know? That's the conversation we had when we first entered this room. Are you by any chance eavesdropping on us? In that case, there's no way you could have been asleep. You lied to us. That's not enough? Really? You got me there. You pack a nice punch. Yeah, I lied about sleeping. So what? I was just exercising in this room. You got a problem with that? Now that I know he's awake, I should remember that this clue. So we wait. If you don't want to fight, get out of the ring. Oh, wow. It's worked up. He enters his fight stance. During those times, you should calmly wait and see. Oh, okay. The strike when he drops his guard. I don't know if this is the right way to go or not. No, it's not. I gotta go the other route. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. This is the right way. Let's try using that clue. Stop telling such an obvious lie. Didn't you just admit it earlier? You were exercising. Looks like I just need a counter. Your back's against the ropes, and there's no way out. Just confess already. Hey, quiet down a bit. If outsiders like you make a racket, you'll you'll frighten the animals again. Again? What was that about? You've been persistent. However, I'm afraid you've, you're about to hit the mat. You said again just now. Did something happen earlier? To frighten the animals? Yeah. Damn. How could I have gotten such a good sucker punch like that? Yeah. It was this great scream back then. The start of the animals. Dang, I never would have lost in a real ring. Mm. Checkmate. Got him. I believe this proves that you do know something about the case. Damn. Okay, okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. You did it, Mr. Edgeworth! Don't lose focus, Kay. The real game has just begun. Let's just stop for a moment. Uncle Ray has got one important thing to say. It must be fate that has brought us together after all these years. I've received the opportunity to observe your skills carefully, and I'll be giving a detailed report to that person about how much you've grown. Who? I don't even know who you are. Um, who is that person? You didn't know? The truth is... This doesn't concern Kay. She doesn't need to know. Whoa there, you scared me. Don't get so worked up. You can do what you like. It doesn't matter to me. How have you been leading your life ever since you were tainted by Von Karma, by the Von Karma way? I'm sure that person would be interested. I feel it's my duty to report it to him. Is he talking about Phoenix? I'll expose your mistakes here. I won't let you disappoint him any further. Mr. Edgeworth, just what are you guys talking about? Don't concern yourself with it. Our only opponent now is Elbert. Well then, let's hear it. What do you know about the case? You're gonna be sorry. You're not gonna like my answers. You think you're gonna like my answers, but you're not gonna like my answers. Oh. 
Oh, I'm not back in the game. Recreation time ended around 10 a.m. I returned to this room and went straight to my training. Just as I counted to two, I heard a voice shout. Oh, I've been starting. It sounded like someone in pain calling out for help, but I couldn't do anything since I was locked up in my cell. So I went back to my training. That's interesting. You weren't really bothered by that shout. Oh, you weren't bothered by it? Even if I was, there's nothing I could do. Look out for number one before you look out for others. That's the basic rules in prison. Indeed. Even if he didn't want to take a look, he'd still be locked in his cell. Isn't the train equipment yours? You seem to have quite a collection. I get him from the supplier. Supplier? Who's that? You can get just about anything if you put it in order. It's our secret shop. That's quite convenient, even so, even if Uncle Ray wanted a cute girl. In that case, you should order a book on how to give testimony. Hmm. Because I'm going to knock you down for the count in one hit. You're... You're going to KO me. With your body. Stop kidding around. Hey, don't ignore your Uncle Ray. Creation time. There are people from uh, from the outside who come here and sing and dance to entertain the people on the inside. That's that's great. That does sound like fun. And you participate in this event. Thanks, dude. Oh, hey, whoa, who was that? Maybe our master. Thank you for the follow. It's greatly appreciated. You were awesome. You participated in this event? There are a few opportunities to mingle with the outsiders. After recreation time ended, I... So what exactly does your training entail? To build up stamina and rhythm. And jump rope. What? In such a small room? Isn't that dangerous for the bear? I mean, Rocky? Rocky's a smart one. When he sees me grab my rope, he clings to my chest. You're able to jump rope while holding on to a bear? I mean, I mean, not really. I'm, the bear's really kind of holding on to me more than anything else. He, I don't got to hold him. He's good at it. You can see him. He doesn't move. He's a weight I'll gladly bear. Rocky's my best partner. So today I started my jump rope routine as usual. However, could you describe the voice for me? It was the voice of someone whose life was in peril. I could tell. Really? There's, there's, this is no, that's no laughing matter. In this voice, you heard it quite clearly. You've never heard the scream of a cornered man before? I told you, the man was screaming for his life. Of course I heard it clearly. Hmm. Is that all? Did he say anything else? That was all. He didn't say anything important after that. Well, that's for me to decide. I'd like to hear it, if you please. If you really want to know that badly, how should I recreate the scene for you right now? Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, that was a stupid thing to ask. Miles, you should apologize, too. Come on, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, he's gotta work with us. This position point is vital. I have to clarify it if possible. Come on. Bear with us, okay? For Uncle Ray's sake. <laughs> Anyhow, I heard the voice, but... I mean, he was stabbed in the neck and died instantly, so we know that that's where we're going, but I want to find out everything he knows. You were able to concentrate on your training after that scream. If I were on the outside, I'd probably go over and take a look out of curiosity. However, inside this stupid cell, I'd have to get permission to go anywhere. Have you considered breaking out of prison? 
That sounds more like something you'd try to do. If this place wasn't a prison, Mr. Knightley might have, might have been able to get it, get help. I don't believe he could have been saved. Huh? But what 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 if someone had come running to his aid? Albert's clearly lying, but what possible reason would he have to do this? Why not? I have to point out the contradiction. Died. You can't see it because it's down there. Died instantly. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Mr. Elbert, can you hear my voice clearly? Why are you... Are you mocking me? The victim received a fatal blow to the throat. Which means he couldn't possibly have screamed. So why did you hear a non-existent scream? That's... There should have been a scream. Wait, there should have been one. Dang it, I had to rip that smug look off your face. Yeah, you're right. I never heard a scream. The one that hurt, who heard it was the guy in the next cell. Wait, what? The guy in the next cell? Who the fuck is that? Uh, the next cell? Oh, so what is a, what, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do for this guy's voice. of an off town i heard i heard the scream yeah prison recreation time had just ended after it happened after we returned to our cells but so then i tell that guy i heard a great scream can you describe that scream for me sure i never told that guy about the content of the scream though yeah somebody come quick a man's been sound like that So it wasn't the victim, huh? Hmm. Rather the first person to discover the body who screamed. I see, that solves the mystery. So there's nothing wrong with Mr. Elbert's testimony. Is that really true? Is there still a problem with this testimony? Is there still a problem with this testimony? Is there still a problem with this testimony? They still be a problem, right? Yeah, I don't know how he, if, if he didn't scream out that he was stabbed, how did you know he was stabbed? No, in this case, a new promise presented itself. Mr. Albert, why did you not hear the scream? It's kind of odd that he didn't hear the scream, sir. Hey, you, why didn't you hear that scream, pal? You guys, do you suspect me? I was shut up in this stupid cell the whole time. How could I have killed someone in the workroom? That would be impossible, wouldn't it? If, I, if we could have killed him, we would have done it by now already. And we killed you guys too. <sighs> you guys don't think you're going to get out of this prison alive. I've forgotten that despite being in cages, these guys are still dangerous criminals. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves in a pretty bad situation here. I do. I can't talk to them anymore. Who the fuck was that? Who are these people? Objection. What the hell? Oh, 
Who's the one now? Is that a valid sound effect? I need that sound effect. I need that overruled sound effect. From, um... This judge lady. Please be silent. What? Who are you? What are you doing here? Can't you see we're busy? Silence is golden. What? What the? Now your hands. You shall remain silent under the ju while under the judgment of the law. You should be thankful. You need to live your life without the need of money. You are to receive the the blessings of the goddess of law. Is this some cleric? Who is this cleric? Why has a cleric showed up? Guard, if you would please. Congratulations, you get to spend the night in the disciplinary room. Uh, but that's... Uh, no! Not there! Uh, anywhere but there! Accept this wonderful blessing. Let your heart be reborn. Cast away your sins. No! No, stop it! No! Oh, Goddess of Law, give this man your blessings. I thank thee. Is that Polly the Parrot? Maybe. I didn't see it, but maybe. You are... My name is Justine Courtney. I am privileged to be a judge. An emissary of the strength of the law. A judge, you say? Well, then why are you here? Prosecutor Edgeworth, I came to meet with you personally. I convey the will of the Prosecutorial Investigation Committee. That is my appointed task. The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee? It's a mouthful. What is that? Do not use that name so lightly. Those are sacred words of the goddess of law. And since like, little Kay doesn't know, Uncle Ray will explain it for her. What is going on? Why has a cleric showed up? JVR Master, dude, I don't know what the fuck's going on. The PIC is an assembled co assembly compromised of 11 members. Their job is to check if prosecutors are doing their jobs properly. Probably came up after after Ace Attorney 1. After we took down Von Karma. If I'm not mistaken, the members are elected from politicians and those of, le uh, of, of the legal profession. So, I take it you're one of those members? Indeed, I am thankful that they judge me worthy of such a task. I too am thankful that I was able to meet you here. Him. How about a hug of thankfulness? Prosecutorial Investigation Committee also shares its deep ties with the Bar Association. Hey, hey, I was just kidding. No need to make such a scary face. Uh, so your job is to find bad prosecutors and punish them? Well said. May you be blessed by the gods of the law. Our job is to remove problematic prosecutors from their cases. And so, those people are not fit to be prosecutors. We'll be stripped of, the pro of their prosecutor's badge. Wait, wait. What does this whatchamacallit committee have to do with Mr. Edgeworth, pal? We're in the middle of an investigation here. Objection! Oh, that's a strong one. Who is this Harry Potter looking motherfucker? What is this music? What is happening? Wow, you're so thick-headed. How thick-headed can you be? 
Uh, just who do you think you're talking to, pal? Who are you? Me? I'm a prosecutor. Sebastian DeBeste is my name. Haven't you heard of me? I'm at the at the prosecutor's office. Everyone calls me the best. I'm so beloved there. I don't know how to make his voice drummer. I don't know how to do it. I was trying to have like a really like snobby attitude, like an, like an irritating, like snobby attitude, but I don't even know if I can make it dumber. I'll think about how we're going to pull that shit off. Um, I've never heard of you before. Hey, you, Mr. Flatfoot. You've heard of me, right? Uh, this is a herder. Oh, you know what? We, we can do that. Okay. This is the first time, pal. Oh, well. I guess it can't be helped. There's no way someone who's so thick on the intake could have, could have good ears. Don't you mean slow on the uptake? I suppose it's only natural as Sebastian only became a prosecutor last month. He's a rookie prosecutor? All right. The best rookie in the prosecutor's office. What? So he has plans to be. Mr. Edgeworth, I'm here to clean up the mess you made. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, I see. Intends to have me replaced. That much is clear. Mr. Debaste. Or Debes. Is that how you're supposed to say You know, Debaste. I'm, he would not say his name correctly. I'm not saying his name correctly. Debaste. I know what you're trying to say. However, I have not been informed of this. Your Honor, I would like an explanation. Very well. This judgment has been passed on under the name of the Goddess of Law. The incident of the President's welcoming event and the murder of Horace Knightley. The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee has decreed that you'll be taken off this case. And Sebastian has been appointed to take over the case. That is all. Where did she just hit that on? What? What? You can't just take him off the case like that, pal. Your Honor, I thought I asked for an explanation. The judgment is guilty. The goddess's law of the goddess of law's verdict is absolute. I have done nothing to warrant being taken off this case. You don't remember? Very well. In that case, I shall remind you of your past crimes. You boarded the president's plane, which was protected by extraterritorial rights. And then, of all things, you ordered a search of the president's personnel. A single mistake could have sparked an international incident. Oh shit, that thing's big! You crossed the line that you, as a prosecutor, you grave, you gravely overstepped your authority. Okay, so, I'm not gonna lie, I recognized her from the shop, but I was like, where did she get the fucking bigger hammer for? I didn't realize it was a fucking telescoping mallet. She is more like a cleric than I, like, in every turn. I admit, my actions may have gone against the rules. However, if I had not taken that risk, I'm certain the truth would have never been found. I have never considered my actions a mistake. So you're saying that as long as the ends justify the means, you should go teach at this school that I know that I know about. The law school down the road where Professor Means teaches. It's alright to ignore the rules, but that is an extremely dangerous way of thinking. No one is above the rules. That is the spirit of the law. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I cannot accept your way of thinking. I see, that's a shame. Even so. The gavel was slammed down at the conclusion of at the conclusion of this trial. Even if you were the defense attorney or the suspect, if you're consent to the verdict, all you can do is accept the blessings of the goddess of law. Or would you fight it and risk losing your badge? She means to take my badge if I don't obey. Uh, uh that, that, that's too bad. Seems you understand now. Guards, 
Please proceed. The order right there. Hey, what are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be on our side? You should listen to the new prosecutor in charge. Oh, God, I don't want to work for you, pal. Isn't that the job of the Flatfoot? We're at an overwhelming disadvantage here. It's useless to resist any longer. Take a gumshoe. You are now under Mr. Devaste's authority. But, but, but that's... Your honor. Yes, what is it? This does not mean... This does not mean I've accepted your decision. We will meet again. Oh, certainly. I look forward to the day. Let's go, Kay. Yeah! I'm not happy about it, but yeah! Wait, down for, down for at. I'll be reporting today's events to that person. What the fuck is going on? Well, that's the end of case two. Cool. Absolutely easy case two. Done. Case three. Let's go. March 28th, 9.45 a.m. High Prosecutor's Office is room 1202. Mr. Edgeworth, just what happened yesterday? Those two people, their attitude just is just unforgivable. I didn't notice it before, but this motherfucker literally still has his like school uniform on. And like Bobby's first cravat, where you can look at the experienced cravat of Edgeworth and see the difference. Ugh. So we got taken off the case yesterday. Uh, Judge Courtney and Mr. Debeste, they were certainly ruthless. What I'm more concerned about is what the PIC. What is the PIC thinking? I'm worried about what they will, what they will do from here on. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, Mr. Edgeworth, are you listening to me? Yes, yes, I'm listening. You're not going to give up on this case, are you? No, I don't plan on backing down. Not with the current situation as it is. If I would just silently stand by, that would only validate their claims. But I no longer, but I no longer have investigation rights. What should I do now? What is the detective gumshoe? Bad news, sir. I heard something down at the precinct. It sounds like they've already arrested a suspect in yesterday's case. Wait, what? Who is it? I don't know yet, sir. But if you're going into the detention center, we can ask. Let's get going, Mr. Edgeworth. Even if I can't investigate, meeting with the suspect should not be an issue. All right, we're heading over to the detention center now. We'll head over to on the double, sir. Detective, don't that interfere with your job. I got to investigate the scene of the crime anyways, so it should be okay, sir. All right, all right, we'll meet up with you there. Roger, sir. Let's go, okay. Okay! March 28th, 1023 a.m. Detention center, visitors all, visitors room. He's not coming, is he? He's not. It's happening all over again! Don't joke about that. Wait, what? Did Kay say that or did that did the other person say that? No, it's now happening. Yes, it is happening. All right, there's someone here to talk to you. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a pretty screechy voice, huh? Do I have a voice that's not getting used? I guess we're done talking to that guy. I can always do this. Cause we're gonna like screechify this motherfucker. 
I actually don't know what this sounds like. So uh, give me a second. While I uh, take care of this. All right, I'm a, you're not gonna hear me for a second while I'm checking this before. You guys should be able to hear me now. I'm gonna go verify. I trust the routing button pretty well, but I had to go verify just in case. I got, I got, I got the voice. I got the voice mod ready for it. No way, no way, no way, no way! Listen, don't be stubborn. Um, pardon me, but wouldn't you, you, would you happen to be the suspect? I knew, I knew it! Okay. Why does this man seem so distraught? Well, because you're, you know, you. That doesn't help me at all. Hello, Mr. Suspect. Would you mind talking to us for a little while? I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant, Kay Faraday. Well, it's just a part-time job. I'm just taking a vacation from my real job. I did. I didn't forget to unmute. And if you can't hear me, that's on your end. I don't remember hiring you. This is Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecutor. He's a prosecutor, but he's not as scary as he looks. He's, it's always okay. How rude. Really? <laughs> anyway, can you tell us your name, Mr. Suspect? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm Simon Keys. We have K, we have Keys. Nice to meet you, Simon. You can just call me K. I'm Miles Edgeworth, a prosecutor. I'd appreciate a word with you. I love how Ace Attorney just manages every time. It's like, okay, you think you got like a relatively okay set of witnesses. Maybe there's a little bit of weirdness in some of them. And then this kind of witness shows up and you're just like, what am I even supposed to do with this? What am I gonna do here? Please, it's for your own good, Simon. Really? Finally, it looks like we're gonna be able to get something out of it thanks to Kay. You know we got to do it to him. No way, it's really impossible. There's no way I can be a prosecutor. Even if you give that to me. That was never my intention. So are you going to arrest me? Am I going for trial? No objections, your honor. There is an objection. Please calm down. I keep hitting the wrong button. First, I'd like you to tell me a little bit about yourself. No way, not that. I couldn't do that. It's impossible. I'm not worthy. There's nothing interesting about me. Your occupation? No way, not that. No, it's, it's no big deal, honest. No, I'm just a regular employee. About the victim, Nightly. He's 
going to talk to me about this. Okay. Simon, did you know Mr. Knightley from somewhere? Knightley, yeah, I did. He was a friend. A friend? So did he know Knightley was arrested? Did you know that, that Mr. Knightley was arrested? Yeah, I came here to meet him. So he visited the detention center too. Who was that? When did you visit him here? It was two days ago in the afternoon. I received a call from the police, so I came over right away. Wait, from the police? Why did you get a call from the police? It was a request from Knightley. He had a message for me. A message? What about? He wanted me to bring him po a pocket, his pocket-sized chessboard. So I retrieved it from his house and came here to give it to him. Did he say chessboard? Did you say chessboard? Is Kay stealing my thoughts? No, Mr. Edgeworth, it's just written on your face. <laughs> I was just guessing from your facial expressions. See, I can be a useful assistant, right? So do you know what we need to do next? You bet. We got to show that to Simon, right? Correct. Let's present it and see how he reacts. Bam, bam. Nope, that's the wrong button. It is that button. Do you recognize this chessboard? Ah, uh, that's, that's Nightly's. Just as I thought. Okay, so we, we figured it was his, but now we know that it's his. This was found in Mr. Knightley's cor- near Mr. Knightley's corpse! He always carried a chessboard with him. Just like him to have one until his last breath. It sounds like you two were really close, Simon. Yeah, we were best friends. At least, as I thought we were. But maybe I was wrong. Huh? I never imagined he would murder someone. Having someone so close to you turn out to be a murderer. Reality can be so cruel. It's something that most people can accept. And I never imagined we would part ways like this. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, something's definitely strange here. There's no way Simon could have killed Mr. Knightley. Indeed. I certainly can't see a motive at all. However, the fact remains that he was the only one, the one who was arrested on that charge. So what was the justification for doing so? Did you get arrested? Why were you arrested? I won't respond to me still. Well, I don't know. Looks like he's finally warming up to you. Oh, that's a great help then. This morning, a police officer barged into my house, and before I knew it, he had brought me up here. Was there a prosecutor accompanying him at that time? I remember a prosecutor called uh, Doom, uh, Doom, Dumas, uh, Best or something. So it was that rookie prosecutor. Then I guess the police haven't dragged you into questioning yet, huh? Uh, are the police going to interrogate me? Yep, that's right, because you're the suspect. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! Are detectives like crazy abusive or something? Always bossing you around with their big bodies? Detective Gump, she was on the scene! <laughs> I needed to read it, I knew it was coming. I knew it! Please don't beat me with your thick arms! I can't take it anymore! Someone call the police! Oh god! What's going into him, sir? I just got here. What What's happening? Well, it's because you're you, detective. Huh? Well, I don't get it, sir. I know Simon has to be innocent, Mr. Edgeworth. 
Can we do something? Simon Keys. Yeah, yes. You were Mr. Knightley's best friend. You only just met him two days ago. You say you didn't kill him. Are you certain about this? Yes, I am. I wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, that's enough for me. I shall offer my assistance in proving your innocence. What? what? What's the point of helping the little me? Well, this is not just for you. This case. I have a personal stake in it as well. That's right. We got to get back at those two from yesterday. Yeah, I'm, I'm fired up, sir. But, oh, whoops. That was the wrong voice mod for Gumshoe. I think that's what's about to happen. It sounds like he's about to swap it. He's about to be like, hey, Phoenix, I need your badge for a second. Just swap. I don't have any investigation rights at the moment. I won't be able to obtain information myself. Your role is most vital. I'm sure we can rely on you to fill in any holes in the information we have. Help us help you. That's all I ask. Ugh, this had an idea. Why don't you just borrow a defense attorney's badge, sir? Oh, come on. There's no way Mr. Edwards could do that. This isn't the time to be joking around. But, but I wasn't joking. He kind of did that, like, six months ago. Hoping the suspect is a defense attorney's job, pal. Jeez, don't worry about that. It doesn't matter what Mr. Edgeworth's job is. All we gotta do is find the real murderer. So let's get moving. Okay, pal. I'm sure you understand, but if the investigation results prove that you are the murderer, no hard feelings, but I will show no mercy. But you don't need to be scared. I believe in your I believe in your story. At least for now. All you need to do is believe in us and wait patiently. There's nothing to fear. Now, excuse me, I must be off. Does that sign say eat free, live free in prison? What the fuck? That's all I gotta say to that is just what the fuck? March 28th, 1122 AM, detention center hallway. So we're all fired up and ready to go, but we still can't enter the part of the, that, the part of the prison where the murder occurred. If you can't get in, if you can't investigate, the only thing you know is defending me in court, sir. How are we supposed to do that? We can't. Huh? Yeah, I thought so. If it isn't Prosecutor Edgeworth and his merry gang, what are you all doing here? Did you come here to harass Mr. Edgeworth again, pal? <laughs> what are you talking about, big guy? Uncle Ray is just here to do his job. Your job? Oh, yeah, you're a defense attorney, right? Okay, you're as cutiful as ever. Cutiful? I might not look like it, but your Uncle Ray is a hotshot defense attorney. Okay. Okay. Okay, dude. Whatever. I'm here to meet with a new client today. What was his name again? Shy Monkeys or something? Wait, what? You mean Simon Keys? That's it, Kay. Looks like you know the deal. Mr. Edgeworth, he's the defense attorney. I thought as much. Guess we have no choice but to resort to that method. In the past, whenever I had to investigate a case I was not placed in charge of, I was able to gain access by becoming a subordinate to whoever was in charge. Not my preferred option, but it's the only option I have now. Mr. Shields, if I may ask. By the way, I don't take on sidekicks. I refuse to take on male assistants who lack charm. Especially someone who is like a son of Von Karma. Mr. Shields, as I thought he won't forgive me so easily. <sighs> I understand you cannot forgive me for what I've done. I'm also fully aware of your hatred towards those involved with Von Karma. 
I don't know if you'll be if you'll believe me or not, but I am no longer the same as I was back then. Back when I idolized Von Karma. Yeah, pal, Mr. Andrew is a changed man. Sure, he may have been a cruel, inhuman prosecutor in the past, but now he's a completely different. He's completely different, pal. When you put it that bluntly, kind of hurts. That's right, Mr. Andrew is not a bad guy anymore. I wouldn't even call him a prosecutor. He's more like a, a hero. Yeah, this man never like. He's never stepped foot in a courtroom. It hasn't happened in like eight years. It's fine. You don't have to take his badge. You can't take all three of us. He even helped me out in a big case in that big case last month. A hero. That's some pretty big talk there, Missy. He's a magnificent hero. Although he'd be no match for a great thief like me. Andrewworth, what's wrong with this girl? I I I can't tell you. Your, your guess is as good as mine. Mr. Shields, don't the actions of the PIC appear strange to you? I believe there may be something else hidden behind this case. I cannot afford to quit at this juncture. Please, let me help you with your investigation. I'm begging you. Hmm. Heh. <laughs> I never expected you to grovel like this. It sure looks like you've changed, all right. And I'm kind of interested at this point in the cause of all this. Wait, you're interested? What is that? What in what changed me? I had to say it would probably be the courtroom itself. All the experiences I've had of all the people I've met inside the courtroom and perhaps reuniting with old friends. <laughs> Never expected you of all people to change. Who would have thought that you'd lay open your heart like that? I'm sure that man would be surprised as well. I guess I can't turn you away. It may be long overdue, but allow me to properly reintroduce myself. If you'd be so kind to read this. What? Wait, what? Edgeworth Law Office is Raymond Shields' head attorney. Edgeworth? Mr. Shields was an assistant to my deceased father. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 Okay. 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 That explains like all, basically all of his behavior. Gregory Edgeworth. Wait, really? Your father was a defense attorney? So that means that man Mr. Shields talked about is... Correct, my cute little K. Prosecutor Edgeworth's old man. He never changed the name of the firm. It's it's my way of showing my appreciation for his help. Prosecutor Edgeworth, no wait. Miles. Uncle Ray doesn't fully trust you just yet. It may have been temporary, but the fact remains. You were once a disciple of Von Karma. You say that you've changed, but you need to prove it me with your actions even your old man would have wanted it this way yes I understand all right I'm getting tired of all this stuff you talk so let's give it a rest and move on for now I'll make you my temporary assistant how's that sound I'm sorry to trouble you but this outcomes kind of moving yeah the pro the prodigal son returning to the work in his late father's law firm what about me? What about me? Of course you can help too, Kay. All right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Shields. I mean, boss. No, then. Let's get to work. Let's see. Hmm, first off, what do you think we should do, Miles? That's right. I had some unfinished business yesterday. Oh, the victim is the first place. The first Mm -mm -mm. Why don't we? Oh, whoops. why don't we find them and listen to what they have to say? Yeah, that's it. Uncle Ray thinks so too. Mm, beat as always. Okay, with that decided, let's hurry up and get and grill him. Uh, I thought I hit that button. Apparently, I didn't. Sir, what am I supposed to do? Detectives can't help defense attorneys. Hmm. Just leave him be. 
detective, I will give you a special assignment. I want you to assist Mr. DeBeste in his investigation and follow his orders. And then, if you discover anything useful, I want you to share it with us. Detective, this is a job that only you can do. Can we count on you for it? Yes, sir. Leave it to me. I'm really good at leaking investigation reports to defense attorneys. I've got a, I've got a story history of it. You, like, you wouldn't believe. Actually, maybe you would because I did it to you a bunch. I mean, what? Normally, this would have been a problem for me, but it may come in handy this time. All right, all right, let's get moving, shall we? Let's, it's time to go to jail. All right, um, so, right here is not a bad spot to do this. I'm gonna go take a quick break. I'm gonna stand up and stretch. It's been about an hour-ish since I did that, and I should be standing up like every hour. To mention like, like my shoulders are a little off and I think it's just because I've been sitting strangely. So uh I'm gonna go stand up, stretch, walk around my walk around the apartment a little bit, and then uh we'll investigate the prison and see where we go. Did my music stop or is it just really fucking low? Oh, this song starts off really low. Uh, let's get you a better song to go off of. You know what? This will work. Yeah, the music was super... That song is super low. Even now, the music's kind of low. All right. Uh, I'm going to go take this break real quick. And we'll come back and we'll investigate, the, we'll investigate the prison. All right? All right. Be right back.
Santa. I'm back. Thank you for sticking with me through that break. Beard here decided it's going to instead of following literally every other beard here, just go. I'm about to have to like go into the bathroom and check this real quick because it's it's basically like just barely taking.
I don't know what's going on. My nose is just, for whatever reason, is just itchy. So, all right. Let's jump back over to the investigation and see what the hell we're going to be able to get away with as uh, Mr. Shield's assistant. Right? Now then, where and where was this? Who was the first person to discover the body? For now, all we can do is ask around. Hold it right there, pal. Who the fuck? Who in the fuck? That guy's voice. that we're gonna see how it goes who, who is this woman um excuse me oh. oh you are sim you are simply irresistible how do you mean me very nice very nice indeed what an elegant mustache it's a pleasure to meet you mademoiselle defense attorney ray shields at your service how about we exchange greetings with a hug <laughs> what of course <clears throat> oh Uncle Ray's uh, lips a proper greeting should begin it should begin with a hug and a kiss it's almost like he was stolen from him Yes, a remarkable feat of quickness that even would put a great thief to shame. The fucking... Whatever the, the fucking... What, what is, whatever this animal is. It's, it's just like marrying her arms. It's just like, what is happening? I feel it's important that close contact is very important. This goes for my family and, and here as in, in my home as well. <laughs> Quite the spinning way of thinking there. <laughs> I am the one, Patricia Roland. But please, just call me Patty. Warden? Is in charge of the prison? Nice to meet you. I'm Miles Edgeworth. I'm a big I'm Mr. Shield's assistant. Pardon me for asking, but were you here in the prison yesterday? But of course, yesterday was the day I could not have missed for the world. Wouldn't have missed for the world? Do you have some kind of important meeting? Oh heavens no, I despise meetings. It was an animal show, of course. Oh god, why? Why are you bringing that music back? Why is that music coming back? A wonderful spectacle featuring animals dancing and flying through the air. I always see it along with everyone in our home. We're all one big happy family here. We built a special stage in the courtyard just for this performance. A performance for the prisoner's enjoyment? Mr. D. Elbert mentioned some kind of recreation. What was the animal show was probably what he was referring to. When did the show take place? It started at 8 a.m. and ended around 10 a.m. That's exactly when we discovered the body. So whoever saw the show probably would have an alibi. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. I have business to attend to. Please take your time and look around our home. So where should we get, where should we start, Mr. Edgeworth? There was a prisoner who heard the scream from the person who first discovered the body. Let's start by talking with him. What's a rabbit doing here? I almost stepped on it. How nice! 
nice. It's like a zoo. Although it's the humans who are treated like animals here. Do you think they'd find out if I took one home with me? If you think, I think if you did that, you'd be the one behind bars. You there. I'd like to ask you some questions. This is so cute. It really is. Hey, you. Meow. I didn't notice me. By the way, what's this cat's name, meow? His name is Nermo. That's enough. Carry on with your duties. Oh, what we have here is a failure to communicate. You can see the crime scene from these small windows. Mr. Edgeworth, you can't just go peeping in like that. You need to be more sneaky and check your surroundings. Wait, wait why? Why must I behave like a common criminal? Unless you wanted to be, me to teach you my special steal a glance technique. I don't need your techniques. Can we get something from the other door too? So this is the inmates work room. What are those work rooms for? Basically they provide job training towards the inmates rehabilitation. We found a dead body in the other work room, right? Are you sure they really helped the rehabilitation process? In order to answer that question, we must uncover the truth as quickly as possible. Where's the person who first discovered the body right now? The, uh, around this time, he's probably in the workroom in the back. In the wor workroom? I probably should have seen him. Why should you go take a look? Pray that, that that's not a restroom. Hey, guard, do you have a minute? Sir, what is it? Is anyone using that workroom right now? Presently, there's no one working. There's one prisoner working inside. I'm positive he's been in there since noon roll call. We would like to ask the prisoner a few questions, if that's, if that's acceptable. Yes, sir, but they'll bring him out, so please wait a moment. Oh, fuck, he's dead. I'll leave this to you, Miles. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Because I don't know what kind of scary guy will come out of that room. Mr. Shields, you're you're a scaredy cat? You know you're an adult? <laughs> Same to you, Kay. Here he comes. Wait. the motherfucker from the very first case of the very first game? I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with his voice. Fucking Mr. Shady Hands has a cousin. What am I gonna do with him? So, I need... This one for the judge. That's the warden's voice. That's, uh, that's our buddy's voice. I, mean, I guess we could use this. I could just turn the microphone effect off and it wouldn't, there would basically be nothing there. Yeah, Mr. Saw it. This motherfucker. same thing the megaphone effect is still covered i just have to turn it off for this oh god what am i gonna do for you something to make it just really fucking i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do with his voice um I'm gonna mute for a second.
fuck. Okay, that wasn't anything. I thought I heard some weird noise in my room. I like was trying to listen to see if I heard it again, but I didn't hear it. Fuck, what am I gonna do? Um burr, 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 burr. We could just pitch him up. Oh, what's it? I, 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 uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be a lot of things. Hmm. Crank the gender bag. Hmm. Like, no, I think if we're gonna do anything, it's gonna go up. And there's nothing else to it. Maybe. Oh, good day to you, sirs. Are you the ones who requested my presence? He doesn't seem like a dangerous criminal at all. My name is Miles Edgeworth. I'm a prosecutor. A, a prosecutor, is that right? I'm Ray Shields. I'm a defense attorney. Mr. Shields, his demeanor changed completely once he saw we were, who we were dealing with. Sorry about that. My assistant always says such strange things sometimes. He's not a prosecutor. He's just my assistant. Hey, get your act together, Miles. Mm, I guess I messed up. I forgot about my new job. Oh, no wonder you were, you were different than the prosecutor who visited me yesterday. It looks like he already met, but he's already spoken with Mr. DeBest. DeBest Day. Oh, can we ask you a few questions? Oh, yes, of course you may. My name's Frank Solid. Okay, Miles. Go for it. Go for it. Uh, I guess I'll be the one asking the questions after all. Mr. Solid. Are you aware of the murder that occurred here yesterday? You are aware of the murder that occurred here yesterday, correct? Where were you when the body was discovered? I was in this room where I had been working the entire time. What kind of work? Well, my goal is to become a pet groomer. An animal beautician, oh, just so to speak. Oh yes, I was cultivating my skills inside here. Any other prison? This training would be unheard of. That was all. Honestly, I didn't see a thing. What did he say? I didn't even ask him anything yet. Which is to say, which is why it's sad to say I won't be any help to you, Mr. Solid. I haven't even asked you anything yet. No, wait. That's even if you were to ask, I would not. You, you know something, don't you? Oh, oh, oh God, oh, that's, uh. Seems he is indeed hiding something. Let's try to press it out of him. We're about to lie to check the chest this man. First, let's assess the layout of the board. My opponent's condition is, oh, he's got some resources. I'm afraid I didn't see... Oh, whoops, that's actually a thing. I'm afraid I didn't see a thing. I won't be able to help you. His expressions don't change that much. True poker face. It'd be difficult to read his emotions from his body language. Perhaps I should focus on how he phrases his words. He may reveal what's on his mind. Now, for the opening move. Let's start by asking about who this man is. Even if he hides his emotions, if I push right the right buttons, I'm sure it'll all cause a change. Begin! Are you involved with this case somehow? Are you referring to the murder that occurred inside the prison? I had nothing to do with it at all. Is that actually true? I would never have dreamed of being involved in a murder plot. Hmm, how should I put it? I'm an upright model citizen after all.
common sense tells me an upright model citizen would never have ended up behind bars. Well, that is... Tell me what you know about the incident. I already told you, I don't know a damn thing. Or, well, I really don't know anything. Haven't you realized it yet? I have you cornered. Wait, what? That's not... That is not the phrase I thought we were going to say based on what the words that were on the on my bottom screen here. Oh, that was a wasted remark. I think that's the right... This is the right logic. It's just that I need to wait right there. He has his emotions. If I push the right buttons, I'm sure to cause a change. from the bottom of my heart for that outburst, but I will be of no assistance. Pardon my rudeness. It's just that the murder occurred in this rather confined prison. It seems unnatural that you don't know anything about it. Oh, unnatural? Uh, uh, Is that so? If you're looking for the person who discovered the body, you should try someone else. we were looking for the person who, who discovered the body. I don't recall saying a word about that. Are you sure you don't know anything? Ah. No, I, it was merely a hunch I had. I, but I'm, a, I'm at a humble pet groomer in training. I honestly have no recollection of the murder. Well, I'm positive this man is hiding something. Among many things, but something definitely. For my next move, I'll ask him about his movements on the day of the murder. Give me that refresh. This man has suppressed his emotions. I will expose his true nature hidden beneath that suspicious looking smile. Let's talk about what happened on the day of the murder. You truly had nothing to do with it. Shouldn't be any problem, correct? Oh, well. Mm. On the day of the murder, there was a lot going on. What you were doing on that day? As I mentioned earlier, I was cultivating my skills as a groomer in training. I was trimming the coats of the animals at the time. Did the murder cause a panic? I imagine the entire prison must have been in an uproar. Well, but, but there was no panic. I could even hear someone's voice. Someone's voice. Judging from the circumstances, I suppose it was a scream that you heard. So you do have a recollection of the murder. You kept insisting that you knew absolutely nothing about the murder. But you do not give credence to your claims. Yeah. Well, I thought I heard something a lot. Some, I thought I heard someone's voice, but in any case, I don't remember it very well. A scream at that at the time of the murder? Be a clue. Better keep it that that in mind. Talk about the state of the prison. What was the state of the prison at that time? I don't remember it too well. My memory is rather poor. Let's try using that clue. Don't you remember? You don't remember? Ridiculous. Didn't you just say earlier that you heard a scream? Yeah, that, that, that wasn't... I, I, I could very well be mistaken. At any rate, I honestly don't remember. You still do not remember? Enough with your lies. I ain't lying, you... I mean, I'm telling the truth. In any case, I was absorbed in group. Oh, I should have pressed him. By the way, how skilled would you are you? How skilled would you say you are in animal grooming? My technique with the scissors still needs some work, 
but I'm very confident in my handling of the animals. When the animals became frightened, I calmed them with my gentle hands. Right. Why would the animals become frightened? I don't think that's a common occurrence. Well, it's a good thing, isn't it? Perhaps the reason the frightened they were frightened was because of someone's scream? Why are you trying so hard to hide the fact that there was a scream? Are you concealing some vital information from me? Got him. Hey, Rondrix. Hello. Welcome to this asshole showing back up again. Because, oh baby, he did. Uh... Yeah. I'm doing nothing of the sort. It's true that I heard some sort of scream, but I'm not trying to hide it. Ooh, he's starting to show his true colors. I should be more aggressive with my next move. I'll ask him about the scream. He, I knew he did. Time to give him a taste of the futility of keeping a secret from me. Did you hear the scream? That, that, that's it. I, I just remembered. At the time of the murder, there was an even there was an event going on. It was the animal show. I had gone to see it. So you're saying that since you were watching the show, you didn't hear the scream? That's completely different from everything you told me up until now. Shut up. So what if it was? I mean, I mean, my memory's just so hazy. Well, maybe I needed to push here, but I'm not sure. The animal show was very enjoyable. What kind of animals performed in the show? Well, um, I believe I saw a whale. That, I didn't mean to double tap it. Didn't mean to double tap it. I wanted the other one. You liar. You didn't see the animal show at all. You stream trials of cold... Tri, tri, I keep wanting to call it trials of cold steel. It's trails of cold steel 4. Damn. I still need to play the trails game. I keep meaning to. They're on my list of shit to play, but it's just... Things keep showing up. And you know how I am. I'm terrible about finishing games. Uh, well, and th th that is... I, I sort of saw it and I sort of didn't. Let's see the show. That could be a clue. Yeah, yeah a decent raid that happened? Oh boy. Do you know who the screen belonged to? Well, if I was mistaken when the incident occurred, I just happened to be in the courtyard. That's why I didn't hear the scream. Oh, let's try using that new clue. Just how deep are you going to dig your pit of lies? It's obvious that you didn't see the animal show. Yeah. There's no way out of this. Tell me what really happened. Confess everything you know about the scream. I cannot answer what I cannot answer. I didn't hear the scream from the person who discovered the body. Wait, what? Hang on. Well, that's strange. Normally, if you'd hear a scream during a murder, it's usually from the victim. Why would you think the scream from the person who just was from the person who discovered the body? Oh, my mistake. How? How did you know the scream was from the person who discovered the body? Well, that's because... Oh god, did he find the body? Oh god, he found the body! Allow me to answer for you. That's because you're the one who discovered the body. And... The scream that was heard when the murder occurred didn't come from the victim. It came from you when you discovered the body. Yeah. 
Ooh. VA raids are always fun. Uh, it's good to see that we've actually, there's been a lot more uh, voice actors that have been streaming on Twitch and uh, are uh, just doing stuff in general. Enjoying games when they can. And they are, you know, uh, let's see, carry the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick math says they're like infinitely better than me. <laughs> They have a much better range on their voices than I do. So always good to see people with like good vocal talents on Twitch playing games where they can, uh, it, even if, they don't, even if the, the game they're playing can't, make, they can't make use of it. Just seeing it like there helps. Miss, who do you think you all are? It's just as you said, but what gives you the right to do this? Checkmate. Got him. Oh boy. It's now clear who discovered the body. You have no more reason to withhold your testimony. Correct. Very well, I will tell you. But I doubt my testimony is worth hearing. Whether or not it's worth hearing is for me to decide. I will expose the truth with my own hands. That is my sole duty. Um, I think you're a little off there, Mr. Edgeworth. What do you mean? We're not trying to expose the truth. We're trying to save Simon. Isn't our goal to help our clients? I mean, you're not a prosecutor right now. You're, you're a defense attorney's assistant. Hmm. Well said there, Kay. She's running the money miles. The official task of Edgeworth Law Offices is to defend our clients. Your old man who founded the firm truly valued the bonds he had with his clients. So if you're not willing to do that, maybe you aren't cut out for this job. Mm. I don't want to fire you on the spot either, so have a heart, okay? The heart of a defense attorney, huh? In any case, it's important that we hear testimony on the person who discovered the body. Start talking, Mr. Sot. Tell me what you found, what happened when you found the body. I was in the workroom over there practicing my skills. By some chance, I got curious about the adjacent workroom and went up to the door. I peeked through the small window on the door. Well, there's already a big problem. How the fuck are you gonna do that? Then I saw him lying there, a man, not moving, dead. Oh, I, quiet, I quailed in fright and found myself letting out a scream. If I can confirm one thing here. You were in the room right next to the one where the dead body was found. Within the prison, we call that workroom B. And you were in there the whole da time on the day of the murder. Yes, after the 7 a.m. roll call, I remained inside the whole time. In this prison, we have three roll, roll call three times a day at 7 a.m. noon and 9 p.m. And they check the workrooms during those times, too? Exactly. Oh, so he was during the 7 a.m. roll call, so there's nothing amiss. Netley's body was not yet in the workroom. Oh, we will. Sounds like the murder occurred after 7 a.m. and I, 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 I. And that's right when, when the animal show started. Correct. And the other prisoners went to see the animal show. I mean, anyone who did not see the show does not have an alibi. Do you understand what I'm saying, Mr. Sawit? Yes, that's certainly true. However, I merely discovered the body. The testimony has a clear contradiction. I should press him about that first. Oh. oh, why the fuck is the temperature got back up in my room? I don't like the fact that the temperature went back up. Because it was good before. It was like down in like, it was still like 76, trending towards 75. And now it's back up to 78. What the fuck is going on?
It's like, I need you to stop warming up so damn much in this room. What does he have for me? Hold it. By practicing? You mean, of course. Yes, my grooming training, for I'm a model prisoner. Hold it. You were curious about the adjacent room? Precisely. I felt the need to look inside. Why did you feel that way? Even if you ask me why, I just did it on a whim. So you really weren't concentrating on your training? No, nothing of the sort, for I am a model prisoner. It's just that the other prisoners had left to see the animal show, which is why I was feeling somewhat lonely. Yeah, it, it's like being stuck in a classroom after school's let out. Yes, that's right. And since I couldn't enter the other workroom. So the small window, you couldn't get a so you couldn't get a clear look. Indeed, as you can see there, there's a grill covering the window. It doesn't offer a wide view at all. Normally the guards use that to check inside the rooms, right? Precisely. You seem to be well versed on this matter. <laughs> well, I haven't known a thing or two about prisons, you know. What does she mean by that? What could she mean by that? I have to find out details for later. In any case, I peeked into the room from the window. Ugh. You knew right away it, it was a ma you knew it was a man right away. I saw it clearly, judging from the, his physique and clothing. Even the fact that he was dead, it was plain as day. Really, was dead through the tiny window. Well, it's not the first time I've seen a dead body. What? 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 So you mean the reason you're in here is because? I'm ashamed to admit it, but it is as you say. However, this is my first time seeing a body that someone else had killed. Hold it. You know what the scream sounded like? Well, all I can say is... All I can say is that I shrink at the top of my lungs. I guess that would happen when you get scared. Yes, it's just as you said. In any case, I let out a scream. Tending to be an innocent bystander, but parts of his testimony are kind of odd. Considering the situation and the place he's in, the contradiction should be quite obvious. I'll show him the evidence that proves it. I think this is just literally like... Like, there's no way from floor, from room B, he could have seen into room A. Objection. Oh, is it not here? Is it on the other one? He was from the... Yes. No, he was from the very first game. Yeah, clearly it's the wrong statement. I know that. I wasn't sure if it was this one or if it was like the other one because I'm like you couldn't see the body from where you were It's physically impossible, but not now. It's more like Oops, I was in a different spot How is 
that not right? He literally could not have seen it from inside the room. because he couldn't have gone up to the door without shocking himself. Uh, okay. I, I think I see the logic they're, they're talking about here. Mr. Saw it. Please stop with such feeble lies. You don't seem to understand your position here. My position? I used to be a newspaper salesman, but then I took up the pet groomer training. What about the bracelet on your wrist? Proves that you are unmistakably a prisoner. As long as you wear that bracelet, you should not be able to move around as you please. As soon as you went through the door, the sensor would have sounded the alarm. Oh, I didn't know who that is. Peeking into the adjacent room is impossible, when you couldn't even leave the one you were in. Ah! Woo-wee! That was a nice one, my... Uh, 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 fuck. Like they... Woo-wee, Miles. That was a nice one. That was a real humdanger. Is that Mr. Mr. Saw didn't see the body? I don't know. Perhaps. We should let the man himself explain it to us. Uh-huh. Um, you see, well, that is... Forgive me, in my appearance. It appears my previous explanation was lacking. Shall I clearly explain how I was able to see the body? Oh, very well. Please, let us hear your revised testimony. There was a rather well-known technique among the prisoners here. If the hand with the bracelet stays in the room, you can step out without sounding the alarm. That's how I was able to peek into the adjacent room. The moment I realized that, the man inside was dead, I let out a scream. Huh. That means... He kept his arm inside workroom B while he peeked into the adjacent room. I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention this to anyone, especially the guards. What was he trying to hide earlier? He was trying to ask for more details about a few or a few other things as well. Hold it. Tell me more about this technique. Certainly. It's how, here's how it works. Hold it. All you gain by doing that is a small is a small degree of freedom. Naturally, but it's all that we have left to enjoy. I'm shocked that you enjoy such a thing. Have you truly reflected on what you've done? But of course, I'm a model prisoner. You should have model is highly suspicious. Regardless, what was the technique you used? Yes, that was correct. I made sure no guards were around when I did it, when I did the thing. Hold it. Ah. Why would you do something so troublesome and potentially dangerous? I heard a noise coming from the adjacent room. It seemed odd to me, so as there should not have been anyone inside. You peeked into the adjacent workroom as you as soon as you heard the noise? Yes, yes, of course. I peeked in as soon as I could. Oh, see. Uh there's a problem. So you looked into the adjacent room immediately after you heard the noise. 
If that was true, then you should have seen more than just a dead body. You should have seen the person who had made the noises. What well, that, that is? Well, yeah, well, um. He looks really shaken. Mr. Salt. Hey, Mr. Salt, answer me. What did you really see? If you intend to remain silent, we we'll have no choice but to assume you are complicit in the murder. Oh, uh, please forgive me. It's just that I couldn't even believe what I saw myself. It may have been just a dream. I hesitate to even recall it. Tell me what, what happened. Very well. I will be frank with you. I saw a doggo. It was night. It was a nightmarish scene. A large black dog was biting into the neck of the victim. What did you say? It was a truly hellish scene. That dog. That dog killed him. Ooh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Uh, that, it's some great a trauma right there. I was chilled to my very core and I let out a shriek. A man-eating dog inside of this zoo of a prison? That was everything I saw. Do you believe me now? Yes, I do. I doubt I would be, one would be able to lie about something like that. Would you add that to your testimony? Oh, certainly. Of course, I would love to. I would love to add it to my testimony, you fuck. Hold it. Do you remember what this man looked like in detail? But of course, I am certain. He had blonde hair, and his throat was covered in blood. You can't be for a fool. That should be obvious. I'm merely telling you everything I saw, just to be clear. Don't defense attorneys love nitpicking over every little detail? I think a bit of a tinge of spite there. Perhaps he's had an unpleasant experience with the defense attorney in the past. Oh. So Knightley was killed by a dog that was being kept here in the prison? I find that hard to believe. They say pets take after their owners, yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't have to take after them that much. This completely defeats the purpose of the animal therapy. I should ask you more about the dog. Did I not just press it? A black dog was biting the, biting the victim's neck. Yes, blood came pouring out, and as a result, the dog's mouth became stained with it. Uh, stop, stop. Oh, God. I don't, I don't need that detail. Uh, uh. At the time, was the victim... Ah! Mr. Edgeworth, why, why are you asking him that? Okay, why, why, why did you hit Uncle Ray? You should be hitting him. He's the one asking, and I'm not asking these questions. The man didn't even flinch that much. Dead. But the blood it continued to gush from his neck. It was most likely that he most likely had already passed away. His hands nary moved an inch. Uh, oh, uh, way too much detail. Why are you doing this? On, are you doing this on purpose? Certainly not. I'm just trying to give an accurate testimony. Hmm, Mr. Edgeworth, shall I add that statement to my testimony? If you would. It was terrifying, a truly terrifying sight. Hold it. That was a very vivid testimony. That's because I witnessed it up close, relatively speaking. I could feel the anguish he suffered as in his death. Mr. Edgeworth, uh, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. Really? How terrible. Oh, come on! It's all because of you that my mind is filled with scary thoughts! Let me... I may even have nightmares myself. Even now, I can still clearly remember everything.
Um. Excuse me? A ring with a snowflake insignia? Impressive memory. I was formerly a newspaper salesman. I had to quickly identify what a customer wanted based on his appearance and attitude in order for it to form a successful sales strategy. The most basic of basics. If you're dealing with a corpse, not a customer, you have to deal with everybody? Yes, it's already becoming an ingrained habit of mine. Yeah. It was an important point that I could determine the success or failure of a sale. So you were able to recall such easily, easily, such easily a minor detail. Precisely. Even the engraved insignia is crystal clear. Is that really possible? What was the state of the body when we found it? Can you review my evidence? I have an unerring eye, that much I can declare. So Knightley was killed by a dog that was being kept inside of the prison? I find that hard to believe. Well, they say pets take after their owners, you know, yeah. Doesn't have to take after them that much. Oh, whoops, this is already. I, I was like, wait, we already read this. Uh. Yeah, no, you couldn't have seen where that ring was. Excuse me, the ring. A ring with the snowflake insignia? Yes, that is correct. It was clearly engraved on the surface. Oh, I see. Your testimony is very accurate, but it's a little too accurate if you ask me. And what's wrong with being accurate? You see that you saw a ring with a snowflake insignia engraved onto it? And it is true the victim was wearing such a ring. See? Was I not correct? Well, that's not the issue I have with your testimony here. Take a look at this photo. As you can see, the right hand is covered by a sheet. It should not have been possible for you to see the engraving on the ring, let alone know that the ring fucking existed, unless you would approach the body it, and lifted up the sheet for yourself. You said you only looked into the work room through the door, and yet you gave such a detailed account of what you saw. Who do you think you are, acting all high and mighty? I, I'm telling you, I saw what I saw. Oh, the victim must have moved his arm after I saw it. Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I don't think so. You said, uh, you said as much earlier. You didn't even flinch. I think at some point, I think at some point, the next time Phoenix and Edgeworth are in the same room and they're just chatting with each other, uh, and Edgeworth is like, man, I had to deal with this, this idiot in prison who kept, like, putting his hands in shady positions and very annoying person. To oh, God. There's barely any liquid left in that. I actually probably need to go get water before we end this. I, I'm like... I'm running, I'm running low. The victim was already dead. How would he even able to move his arm? This guy's looking pretty suspicious. This guy's looking pretty suspicious now, yeah? Frank saw it. What are you hiding, you scoundrel? Oh, no, I ain't, I am not. It is, you're, you're wrong. I know what I saw. Yeah. Oh, shit. Shut up already! Stop making a fuss about every little thing I say! You're just a defense attorney's assistant! He's finally showing his true self. Whoa, I guess the cat's out of the bag. The black, hairy one, that is, just went flying. Oops, I had that on. Didn't mean to have that one on. You don't remember that freak out? No! I forgot about that. It's been a while. When did I play Ace Attorney? When did I play the first Ace Attorney? It's been... It's probably been 14 years since I played the original attorney. 
I legit don't think I played the... I, I think the, the last time I played the original Ace Attorney myself was 14 years ago. I've probably seen people play it, but I'm, I'm never paying that much attention when the freakout happens. I'm just your friendly neighborhood witness. Are you really just a witness? I would say you're rather suspicious. What was that? You saw something that could not have been seen from outside the room. How is that possible? The logic behind it is simple. Mr. Saw, this is where you saw the body from. Take that. When you discovered the body, you went inside the room where it lay. But you saw the engraving on the ring, that's the only possibility. <laughs> Even if you say that, you ain't got no evidence, do ya? Where's the evidence that shows that I was in the room? I was grooming pets at the time. In the room adjacent to where the body was found. I even went so far as to borrow some rubber gloves. Show me the evidence that I was proved that I was where the body was found. Take that! You just told me. Mr. Saw it. What were you doing when the body was discovered? Didn't I tell you already? I was practicing being a pet groomer. I see. In that case. Are you able to recognize this glove? Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no no no! This was found near the body. I believe this to have been dropped by the culprit. By the way, I noticed you have a rubber glove hanging around your your apron pocket. No, this is it's something else. It. Looks like you're missing one of your gloves. You can find these gloves anywhere in the prison. Your evidence proves nothing. Mm, perhaps we should hand this glove over to the police for fingerprinting. I'm certain they will find something interesting in those results. Uh, I ain't holding it that long. It's over. And I'm gonna use that expression. I'm gonna use that time to go get water. Give me like two or three minutes to run to the kitchen and get water because especially with like voices like that that are straining i'm gonna need some water so enjoy the music i'll be right back we'll get water and we'll keep going to the rest to the rest through the end of the stream all right be right back
Hey, I'm back. I have a full thing of water now. And uh, I'm just gonna finish this up. I'm gonna drink water for the rest of the night. Yes. Uh. Leave. That's everything. And yes, Rondorix, that is a very interesting point. I left the light on for my back. Didn't mean to leave that light on, but I did. So, we fixed that. Or we fixed that, so. But yes, that is a very interesting point. Does he have some way to take the bracelet off? It's over. Objection! What? Who in the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool, right? My objection voice. Mr. Shields, could you save the jokes for later? I'm not joking because it's not over yet. There's still something else. Something that's clearly odd. That guy's a prisoner, you know. He's got a bracelet and all. That's right! How did he get the other workroom? The sensor would have set off the alarm, right? Got a point. I see. Ronericks, you're like two steps ahead of where I was in the game. You're right there. That's the one thing we don't know yet. Not so fast, Mr. Prisoner. Could you fill us in? Yeah, it's pretty weird. That bracelet should have been his last line of defense. Defense? Yeah, it's right, Kay. It was useful evidence for Mr. Prisoner here. He could have just claimed that due to the bracelet, he wasn't able to enter that room. But he didn't say a word about it. Is there any reason why you didn't? The silent treatment, eh? Well, the judge yesterday did say that silence is golden. Oh, wow! You really are a hotshot defense attorney, Mr. Shields! Defense attorneys always remain calm in a pinch and the smile in the face of danger. That's what your old man taught me. The defense attorney's creed, yeah. So, what's the deal? Why didn't you mention anything about the bracelet? Gotta be two steps ahead in chest? You are right. Who gave him back his... Who gave him back his... Toupee? Who did that? Why would you do that? If you throw your toupee at me, it's mine. And I'm taking it with me. And I'm just gonna yeet it out the window and it's like, sorry, the toupee doesn't exist anymore, sir. You done used your trump card in a terrible way. The truth is, it's broken. Broken? Some time ago, I took a spill and the bracelet hit the floor with a loud bang. Ever since then, it's not been able to activate the sensor. Forgive me. It was so convenient. I didn't want to report it. Oh, I see. So the bracelet was broken. But it didn't really break so easily. If that's true, there's a problem with the prison security. You over there. Can I have a moment? Dear kitty kitty, you're such a cute little guy. Oh, yes, you are. Excuse me. Yeah, yes, sir. How, what can I do for meow? Prisoner's bracelet appears to be broken. What? Really? Well, that's not good. I'll contact the person in charge and have him replace it immediately. Well, thank you. I'll be holding on to the broken bracelet for the time being. Ooh, that's cheeky Edgeworth. That's how you get that bracelet. Yes, sir. Please take care of it. We need to get that bracelet replaced ASAP. Now that, the bra now that the bracelet's been taken care of, shall we move on to arresting you for murder? What? I, I Paris the thought I didn't kill anyone. But your bracelet was broken, right? Doesn't that mean you could have gone anywhere you wanted during the animal show? But all I did was find the body, honest. And it's true, I saw the dog biting his neck. However, I entered the, I entered the room after the dog had already left. Why did you do that? Well, I was... I was curious if he had anything of value on him. 
planning on looting the corpse. Just like a good adventuring party member. Oh, he remembers Night Wizard Ring so well. Why are you looking at me like that, Mr. Edgeworth? I'm a great thief. Please don't put me on the same level as him. But I didn't take a thing. The animal show had ended and the other prisoners were making their way back down here. I hurried back to my workroom and let out a scream to deceive the others. Oh, and that that's when you dropped your rubber glove, is it? Oh, I got new I got new I got new Beat Saber maps to download tonight. For the next time I pull my Beat Saber headset out. I guess his story holds up. What do you think, Miles? Whether or not he whether he's the murderer is what is or, or not. One big question remains. How did Nightly get all the way from his holding cell into the prison? You're right about that. It's a real stumper. And there's something else that Mr. Saul said in his testimony that I'm very concerned about. The doggo. The dog, any part of the murder. Mr. Saw it. Yes, what is it? Are there prisoners who didn't see the animal show? Yes, there's only one other one that I know of. This prisoner wouldn't have any, wouldn't have been able to see the show even if you wanted to, correct? Yes, that's correct. Why do you ask? Just as I thought. I had my suspicions as soon as I saw that black dog. Fiendish criminal. I never expected him to be held here in this prison. Where is this cell? Er, you intend to meet him? Him? Who's him? He's a very special man, and he receives very special treatment, and... Oh. Forgive me, I needed to watch what I say about him. However, if you value our lives, I would advise you to stay away from him. Hey, cut it out already! You're giving me the creeps! A puppet master in the shadows, huh? Yeah, I still value my life. He's being held in the special cell. Over there, in that direction. Special cell? It seems like he receives a special treatment. So who is this? Just who is this him anyway? To protect my own life, all I can tell you is that he's the oldest prisoner here. I know who it is. I know who it is. This is gonna get really awkward really fast. He's truly terrifying. You care to fill me in? It feels like you're leaving Uncle Ray behind here. He's someone that I knew in the past. Except for the special cell. I believe that black dog should be there as well. I'm thinking it's Manfred. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> and if it is, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> hey, it's pitch black in here. I can't see a thing. Aren't you always talking about how the Yadagarasu was able to flap even in the darkest night? Even in the depths of night when no other bird dares take flight. What a lone source did just shine in the light of righteousness along the world's blade. And that's me, Brian the Great Thief Yana Garasu. Oh, that was pretty. That was pretty cool. But still, I can't see what I, I can't see what I can't see. I'm still human. Ah! Ah! No. Well, it's not Manfred. Who the fuck is this? Mr. Edgeworth, I presume. Is it? That voice, it can only be. Maybe it is him. It's been far too long. You still remember me? <laughs> 
be impossible to forget because it was you who did what none could do and placed me in here in this cell i'm gonna i'm gonna until i get a fucking idea of who this is i'm not i'm not putting a voice on it don't tell me that dog is talking to you mr Angeworth. is there something else is there someone else in there i can't see a thing though down boy it's rude to frighten the visitors here allow me to illuminate this dark room Who the fuck? Do we know this guy? Is this new? Is this somebody new? I have no idea who this is. I mean, they might explain it at some point, but, um, all right, well, we don't need his voice anymore. I'm just fucking cranking that shit down for this guy's voice. Man's a former assassin. The blind assassin, Sir Sirhan Dogan. You do a different voice. You can't understand it all. Is it too much? Is it too much on the on the pitch? So we can just crank the pitch back down. Is this any better? How did that sound? Was that like really too fucking? I want to hear the difference. So, uh. Beep, beep. Myself back on so the stream can hear me. There we go. All right, cool. I got his voice down. Much better. Yeah, I didn't realize that when I had the pitch like all the way down, you basically it's so distorted you can't hear me. Good to know for for later. Gen like the gender knob on this, I can just crank that shit in fucking any direction and it's fine. It's the pitch that starts to really fuck with things. His weapons are sharp knives and a ferocious dog. His appearance is always accompanied by the sound of a bell. It's said that the ringing of this bell in the darkness is the last sound his victims hear. Would you be so kind as to remove and share the reason why you've come to see me, Mr. Edgeworth? That will not be necessary. You are already well aware of why we are here. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's 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 take a look here. Um, I'm gonna open up this clip so I can hear it. Cause like I said, I had it originally like cranked all the way down. You know what? That you know what that voice is for? That voice. Okay, yeah, that's that's what it sounds like. You know what that voice is specifically for? If I ever have a distortion where I need to just have demonic noises coming out of this, out of somewhere, I'm just cranking both of those down and mumbling, and it will sound basically like that. That would set, that would be a perfect demonic voice of just like weird demonic noises coming from somewhere. I probably would have to like very, very clearly enunciate what I'm doing, and you ain't, you know, sure as well I ain't doing that shit. Uh, it seems we know each other quite well. No, 
know we gotta do it to him. You know we gotta do it to him. Very well. Hmm? What? As the flower of death blooms, your request has been accepted. What? This has such a sinister meaning behind it. <laughs> what the fuck? There's other things I could do for it, but that was like the first time I heard it, I was like, oh Jesus, that's like just demonic mumbling at that point. Let's talk. We suspect your dog of committing the murder. The witness who discovered the body saw him biting it. There must have been some mistake. My boy is obedient. He would never do such a thing. Right, Anubis? I actually like that name for that dog. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Anubis may be your guide dog, but you raised him to be a vicious killer. He was one of the weapons you used as an assassin. To begin with, is, is the witness of us of a reliable sort? Ugh. God, it's true solid is also one of the suspects. It's difficult to say if we can trust his testimony. In any case, I think you have the wrong dog. Right, Anubis? Right, boy? I wonder if he knows who the witness is. I would like to hear your alibi from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. yesterday morning. During the animal show, <laughs> I was in my humble cell the entire time. I took up whittling recently. My focus was solely on the wood and the chisel in my hand. I see things. The prisoners have access, have free access to chisels here? Normally that's not allowed. The warden is a kind soul. She has given me special permission. Kind? Ridiculous. Even five metal chisels. Holy shit. We become deadly weapons in this man's hands. I started off by carving these Buddha statues, but I moved on to other shapes after the 674th. Really? That many? All it takes is time, which I have plenty of. Here's what I'm working on now. I did not know you played chess. Do you play as well, Mr. Edgeworth? I would like to test your wits in a game sometime. I only started playing since my arrival here, so I'm still inexperienced. Wait, what's this piece? Three-headed dog? Just for the fun of it, I carved the hound piece. Chess is a game of war, pawns, knights, castles, each side pursuing their, pushing their forces to the limits to take the life of the enemy king. However, I found the absence of dogs to be strange. Hounds are indispensable in parts of warfare. But, with more than a folly, I still play by all the normal rules of chess. Isn't it difficult for you to find opponents here in the prison? I always play correspondence chess. Did, uh, you what, mate? Oh, so you play through the mail. Prisoners are allowed to send and receive letters, although they are subject to inspection. At the moment, I'm waiting for my opponent's next move. Okay. So he plays chess with people outside the prison? Do you know who was murdered? How do you know that name? It was Horace Knightley, a most unfortunate lad. Your ears are as sharp as ever. They are all I can rely on. As I thought. He has everything. He's full, he has full knowledge of everything that goes on in this prison. On second thought, you might be fortunate after all. Wait, how so? He committed a grave crime, but he was able to avoid punishment for it. An assassination attempt on the president. What a bold man. Assassination attempt? Oh, hey, wait a minute, Mr. Edgeworth. Didn't Mr. Knightley just... He may have killed his own superior, but he never attempted to take the president's life. Are they trying to conceal the fact that the assassination was staged by the president? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your horses. Knight Knightley didn't attack the president. 
but Uncle Ray was requested to defend him in court on charges of attempted assassination. Wait a minute, you didn't know either, Uncle Ray? They're trying to pin the whole the whole thing on Mr. Knightley. Now I see why the PIC is taking action. Ah, so that's why they removed you from the case. That the past guy is going to in, in, indict him on charges of attempted assassination. And in doing so, they would have twisted the tr in doing so, they would have twisted the truth. <laughs> I suspect that it was a false charge. I heard about it from one of the guards about the nightly. He kept desperately insisting. I didn't assassinate anyone. But the courts are supposed to bring the truth to the to light. I may not be very well versed in the law, but I can say one thing for certain. Some of the prisoners here were convicted on false charges. Mm. That's the reality of it. Right, Anubis? Isn't that right, bro? Leaving the truth in the care of the courts can be dangerous. Leaving the truth in the care of the courts is dangerous, huh? There was someone who said that exact thing before. An investigator from Interpol who doesn't trust prosecutors. What was his voice line? Uh, 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 uh. This feels like up here. You're not twisting the truth behind those closed door, closed court doors, are you? Fueled by those ideas, is any one of the courts produced nothing but falsities and lies? Rest assured, the next time we meet, I won't be so forgiving. Doubt his distrust has completely cleared up. You feel the same way, don't you, Anubis? The truth of the courts and Mr. Edward's reasoning can't both be trusted, right? Ugh. It's nothing to be upset about. You're not the only one who suspects me. Yesterday, the other prosecutor and that judge came here too. They brought the warden along. How they despised me. Oh! That must have been the two, those two rude people from before! Prosecutor Debeste and Judge Courtney. They thoroughly... Oh, whoops, that's the wrong voice line. They thoroughly inspected my room, but left without finding a thing. <laughs> it seems they were searching for the murder weapon. It's a shame. They searched the other prisoner cells too, not just mine. Yet they were still unable to find anything. All that hard work for naught. <laughs> My beard, like my mustache on my, is, is just absolutely going nuts on my nose. Very frustrating. Well, this is quite a problem. What should we do? This testimony alone won't hold up. In order to confront him, we need evidence. Now, if my guest would be so kind as to leave. Right, Anubis, show them the way out. Uh, does this mean what I think it means? Let's, let's get going, Mr. Edgeworth. Ooh, that would be cheeky if one of his carvings was hollow and he'd like configured it to be able to hide something like that. Ooh, that'd be cheeky. We shall meet again, Dogen. It would be a shame for our, our long-awaited reunion to end so soon. I'll be waiting. <laughs> How do you suddenly light a bunch of candles? Bro, that man has monk powers. They can just do shit. He can lit he's he he can literally just be like mm, and like key energy goes out and does shit. I played a monk in pat in pat in D D. Trust me, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Or those are all like those electronic candles and he just like clicked the thing on. They probably wouldn't let him have fire. But then again, they let him have chisels. So like... So like...
Listen, man, mug powers work in mysterious ways. I don't I don't question it. March 28th, 1 12 p.m. Prison hallway. Now then, I still need to find that damned murder weapon. You went all the way up there? It's fine now. Okay, you can come down from there. Here's Mr. Shields. Pete's me! He just took off like a dead like death was running after him. Good grief, that man. What should we do now, Mr. Antworth? We'll continue the investigating. First, we should start by solving the one that one mystery. Natalie's body was found in the workroom inside the prison. However, he was supposed to be in the detention center's holding cell. How did he get to the prison under such tight security? Let's go investigate the holding cells at the detention center. Now that's where Mr. Knightley was held, right? What about Uncle Ray? Let's just leave him be for now. I thought we were supposed to be his assistant though. If he's indisposed, I, I can I can basically I know what he wanted to do next. The victim's cell in the detention center was this way. Let's check it out, Mr. Antworth. Oh no, who is this? I don't think it's... Maybe, maybe her? Oh, this is just truly dreadful. Wait, what just happened? I thought so. The warden, Miss Rowland. She must have come from the behind the no entry side. And so we still won't talk, huh? Even after all the trouble you went through to get evidence transferred from the precinct? That's right. I don't know how many times I've tried. I can't report back and empty handed. An assassin sure is one tough cookie, huh? You say assassin? Oh my. Pardon me, but were you talking about Sir Han Dogen? Just now? Oh, eavesdropping, were you? You naughty boy. Did you personally question him, Warden Roland? Not just him. I try to have a heart to heart with all the prisoners and suspects. In my home, we're all family here. It's only fair that I invite them to my warden's office. Wait, the warden's office? Oh, have you taken an interest in my room as well? It's just down this hallway, but outside is not allowed past this point. Down the hallway, so around there. Ooh, it's such a lovely room. People do enjoy being invited back there. I always show them the splendid view of my precious courtyard. The courtyard of animal of this animal field prison. I'd sure love to see it. Oh, what? The courtyard of this animal field prison? I'd sure love to see that. I'm delighted that you want to see it. However, I cannot invite you. Wait, what? Why? You're not a child of our home. If you want to come to my room, you'll have to be convicted first. Okay, steal something right now. That's a rather high hurdle to clear. Goodness me, look how long we've been talking. I was just about to feed Ally her lunch. Ally? She's my favorite little angel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be off to the courtyard to loo. the chance to ask her about Dogen. Well, let's over to Nightly's cell. We can work from there. Alright. 
Uh. You know, this is not a bad spot to stop. Oh, God. No, I do want to stop. I do want to stop. All right. Well, this case has certainly, certainly gotten very weird, very fast. Um, oh, this is of course a very soft song. All these songs are very soft all of a sudden. It's very, it's very interesting. I don't know what's going on here. We have this like overarching plot that because there was an assassination attempt, they were trying to cover it up by basically saying, yes, you tried to assassinate the president. We, we, we figured it out. Uh, and then now there's this other assassin in the prison. And then like, there's a lot of shit happening. And I don't like, I don't see where this one goes yet. It like, to me, it's like, it could very well have been the warden who did this uh it could have very well there's a like there are multiple people who are like i could conceivably see that it was them it could have been the assassin in the blind assassin in the cage it could have somehow been him i don't i don't know how though i don't know how any of these people could have done this yet we need more information which we will get that information thursday um Tomorrow, I'm, we might be streaming. Um, I have to check with my friends because I think we are talking about playing tomorrow as a bat, as a, as sort of like a, uh, a preemptive makeup session. Because from what my friends have told me, we're not going to be playing this week. We're not going to be playing Monster Hunter this weekend. We're going to be playing it tomorrow. At least it's the last time I remember talking about it. Uh, but, um, I think it's because this weekend, one of my, one of the people in our group is going on like a beach weekend trip and won't be able to play. So we're playing tonight or we're, we would be playing Wednesday in order to make up that session. And then Saturday after Saturday evening is probably going to be available for me, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing anything. That might be where my friend and I are playing. It takes two and trying to finish that. Um, but we'll figure it out from there. All right. All right. Thank you all for being here. Can I get a song that is actually loud? I don't want to blow it out, but it's all this very soft music. All right. Thank you all for being here. You guys are all awesome. If you're new here and you have not hit that follow button, hit that follow button by my name. Hit the bell. Come back. Hang out. Uh, I normally am live Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays during the week. Uh, those are the days that I know for sure I have available to actually stream, to be able to do stuff on a regular schedule. Every other day of the week is kind of a, if I have the free time, I will do it. But if not... I just, I stream on my days. So, uh, we will figure out what the hell is going on and we will investigate the, the, the detention center cells on Thursday at my normal time. And we'll go from there. I did watch you. I can't defeat tree man. I had not seen that before, but it was fucking like, like spot on spot on enough that I sent it to like two or three other people who I know who have played the first Ace Attorney investigations and they all loved it. So good find or good thing you knew about, I guess. I don't know which way you want to call that. But um, so yeah, we did watch that, which is good. Uh, I don't know anything else. Right? Um, I can't think of anything else. 
I do need to make sure I save my voice my voice mod settings so I at least have these ones taken care of. So I'll do that after the stream ends. All right. All right. Back during the life of its first upload. Oh, okay. It's another one of those ones that I probably would not have watched initially just because it's like ah yes it's involving ace attorney investigations one i haven't played ace i hadn't played it at the time i mean until a week ago basically uh so definitely need to uh i could definitely see how i would not have played it Oh, God. It's unfortunate that the creator's channel got hacked. Um, you reminded me about something. I need to take that old drive down and see if there's, if I can make room on it. I have a drive up there that's not used for a lot. Um, so I might have some space on that drive to be able to uh, offload some of my old VODs. Because, take a look here. Uh, VOD storage is at about 430 gigs. So I'm probably going to run out of space if I don't transfer shit off of there here soonish. Although, <sighs> let me go look. If I really desperately need space, I could get rid of, I could clear 300 gigs if I just get rid of all of my World of Warcraft content. Like if I just get rid of all of that content, mm, I'm probably okay. And there's not a lot in there that like I either haven't already highlighted that I cared about or otherwise. So if I really need to like do stuff like that, I can get rid of that. Cause almost everything else is like, I, I kind of want, I want to keep the, the most recent Terraria run that we did. I want to keep all the Monster Hunter World content whenever appropriate. Um, uh, everything else is shit I want to keep. So I just need to like offload a bunch of these VODs so that way they are somewhere else. No, I hadn't seen that before. Like, I would say, like, it, at least for, like, anything My Little Pony, I have, like, two friends in my friend circles that uh, are relatively big fans of My Little Pony. And so, like... If there is something to come through that, it usually comes from that show. It usually comes through them. So, I don't think I would have heard about it. And one of those friends I know loves Ace Attorney, so he would probably love that if he saw it. guys yeah but yeah send that shit my way I'll, I'll 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 either i'll probably look at it myself and then send it to him and he'll probably get even more out of it than i would um because i have like some knowledge about my little pony but i've i don't I don't have that much. Uh, but yeah. I think. I think. I'm gonna head out for the night. Thank y'all for being here. 
You guys are all awesome. Before I head out, though, one kindness from each and every one of you. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good day, whatever happens to be wherever you are at. And I'll see y'all on Thursday for some more Ace Attorney. Maybe tomorrow for Monster Hunter? I, we'll, we'll figure it out. You'll see it. You'll, you'll know when I go live. All right? All right. Later. <laughs>